standing around on the highway going, you hey. think this pimple will go away? <laughs> You're great, Ed. <laughs> Just sit there on the end like a big log waiting to go down river. <laughs> Does, does your wife deal with you on this level, or are you... We have two kids, so she... <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was, what was that? That was... That was he was on one of the rides what? at Disneyland. <laughs> who, do you, up, who do you suspect? <laughs> You're rolling, Roy. <laughs> hey, so, no, speaking... I wanted to say it. <laughs> speaking, Boy, speaking of... Midnight Cowboy had the right guy. What? <laughs> Watch this segue. Speaking of wives, <laughs> see, my job is to tie all this together and uh, make some, yes, of a, some yes. kind of order out of this chaos. Yes. That's the idea of, of a right, host you're here. The chairman. That's right. Uh, now you've been working uh, long hours. Uh, a I lot. work a lot of hours. I work nine to seven, nine to ten. That's a lot of hours for oh, me. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> You never worked that long in your life. <laughs> Drop it now, Harry. <laughs> when I met him, he was at the gate at NBC going, you got a Buick? <laughs> now he's worried about the hours. Go ahead now. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see. But does oh. this affect your home life at no, all? I guess it's... <laughs> We got to get him back to the corral. Like, uh, <laughs> for a bed check or something. Oh, no, you told me the story. Tell him what you told me. Oh, if I could remember. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the funny... What's I the, get the feeling we're at a roundup. What's the funny story, Dom? No, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's right. I have to ask him what I said. But I don't see her so much, my God, wife. You're right, of course. Because I work long hours, as I said, about a couple of minutes ago. And um, what happens is, is we have to uh, uh, make the time precious. When we, do, we have to double up, is what it is. Get it! <laughs> Anyway, what was the story that I told you that was so good? Oh, I think keep taking the beating. <laughs> you were too tired. Oh. <laughs> Is there a state home That's for cowboys? <laughs> That's true. Sometimes. No, John, no, seriously. I know what no, you I mean get what those are. That sometimes, <laughs> with, when I work hard and long. Yes. It isn't. Uh, no, really, really. Sometimes I'm very tired, and I get so tired that I'm not so uh, romantic. That's, that's true. That's, you a, know. that's a problem when you have oh. your own show. Right, so I have to take little naps during the day. <laughs> your wife must be a busy beaver, okay? <laughs> My wife just lays on the bed and goes, You got a minute? <laughs> Well, she certainly knows your sting power, I'll tell you that. Uh, writer Pat McCormick, who did this line once, a lot of a lot of guys have, have appropriated the line in reference to Don Rickles. He said he called Don Rickles once, but Rickles was busy. He was out walking his rat. <laughs> huh? I don't know where it came from, but uh, would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles? You know, these kind of nights, uh, as Bert has said, uh, and Buddy has said, and uh, Ed talked to you briefly, with accolades of, uh, you know, like 11 years, and it makes 
Oh, my, on my starting on The Tonight Show with you, yeah. it's like, uh, it's like everybody's back there saying, gee, you gotta do good and you gotta wish Johnny luck well, you and what have you, you know, which we all do, you know. But I, uh, observing in the back, say from the bottom of my heart, Johnny, you're a very wealthy man. <laughs> not, remember what happened last time you said I that? I know that, but yes. uh, I don't mean it in that sense. Uh, the good Lord has blessed you and your family and your lovely wife. And you're... Thank you so much, Bert. <laughs> Bert is lonely. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a very difficult thing when uh, Bert Reynolds, who's a very glib guy, a Buddy Hackett, one of our great comedy minds, and Ed McMahon, who's at the end of the couch, annoying... <laughs> annoying Buddy now saying, can't you use me in Vegas? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, Ed knows and I know, Johnny. Yes. You don't have a friend. <laughs> you have me, John, because I still feel you're hot in the business. <laughs> My career has come a long way. I am uh, 47 years of age. You're 48, I believe. No, no, I'm 47. You're 47. We're the same well, age. We're the same age. Wonderful. So when the good Lord, when we were both born and we came from our mother's God, looked down and said, make him rich and make him struggle. <laughs> and uh, it turned out that way. I'll be off in a minute, Bert, and then you can show this outfit. <laughs> but... Uh, I like Bert. You know, the, the first when when you were away. Don't you like me? Huh? Honestly? Yes. No. I see. <laughs> no, I adore you. I know that. You gave me an opportunity. You even had me. He had a little party the other night. I must say, in fairness to Buddy and Ed and Bert, he had a party uh, for your anniversary. Well, it wasn't really. Wife. It was just happened to fall on the same day. No, you were married a year to Joanna. That's right. Correct. Your lovely wife was not here tonight, unfortunately. She's in New York with her organ and monkey. <laughs> Oh, don't go, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's the first one that laughs. You should see his wife. She said to me tonight on the phone, when, when is Johnny coming home? Uh, no, that's a joke. Of course it is. His mother's in Nebraska going... <laughs> <laughs> Again, we struck out, Pop. <laughs> but uh, she's, a, she's a lovely lady. Yes, and, she uh, is. Uh, Johnny uh, had a little party, Bert, and uh, Buddy at, at Chasen's. Uh, I can't say that. Buddy was was invited and he couldn't I be there invited. and Bert wasn't in town. I couldn't I wasn't make invited. it. You, were, you, you weren't invited? No, you were at the Dinah Shore cooking show. Uh, we, uh... <laughs> now, he, he goes out with Dinah Shore. Well, I, know lovely that. Magazine. I know that. I know you know all the that. This isn't a test. I, read. I know you know that. Well, I read. Why are you talking to me like I don't know? Because you annoy me. That's oh, it. But, Bert, you, were you invited truthfully, Bert? Were no, you? he wasn't in town. He was not invited. Now, don't make a big thing. You said to me, why invite a cowboy dumbbell to one of my parties? Said this guy with the two-fisted karate baloney at the party. Ha, ha, ha! We don't need that. We're all lovers. And you danced. And, Johnny, this is inside. For God's sakes, as Jack Benny would say. And Jack was at the party. Yes, he was. All the biggies. Freddie DeCorvita. How do you say this? De huh? You kept mispronouncing it all night at the party. De Cordova. Wonderful. Look at how the crowd got excited. <laughs> Look at that. Two guys in that row dropped their pants and fired a rocket. Which, which, which two guys? <laughs> Where is that? The, the fellow the sitting next to the black man up there, right? Yeah. Don't, 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 don't press, John. You don't have to press you. This is your show, and it's 11 years, and we all came here. We're I'm... missing a football game. <laughs> Probably the Detroit Lions are on the 50-yard line. And uh, what's that quarterback's name, the kid on the Lions? Alvin. No, no, no. You don't know football. The Rams are doing great. What's that quarterback? You played football. Landry, right. Yeah. Landry going, hot, red on blue, hot, set, hot, hot. And the wife's saying, are we going to fool around? Shh, they're on the 50-yard line. Hot, set. And this is a big night for me, and I gave it all up to... Just to be here. ...be here on your 11th anniversary, and Dean was great. He happened to be standing on the corner, and somebody said, Psst, you got a minute? <laughs> and, uh, he just wandered in here, and it's an exciting night. But, Johnny, really, I say it's uh, our Jewish New Year. And as Buddy can say, as, uh, as a fellow uh, uh, Jewish Why? man, not that, not that that makes us better than anybody else. I mean, even Why, though you did that. take Christmas from us. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> now I can see good Catholics and people all over the world writing in saying, Why did he say that? Facts. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> But what I say is this, that uh, we, uh, this is our new year. I'll be off in a minute. But... <laughs> then you can show everybody your dad's home in Florida. What's His the... dad's a sheriff in Florida standing on the highway going, can you get me a lift? 
anyway, uh, so... What year is this? For the, I know it's 5,000 and something. What, well, who cares? What are you, in a tomorrow? <laughs> no, but I just wondered what officially it is. Well, it's a dead buffalo on a monkey's ear. 57... 15... 7... 57... 34. Wonderful. 57, Get your winning ticket and go home early. <laughs> I mean, he says it. That's before our generation. I mean, that is our year, really. Happy we take a ram's horn and we go... Da -ha! Da -ha! And Vikings come in and burn the synagogue. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing 11 years ago? 11 years ago, yeah. I was in the lounge in the Sahara Hotel, yes. and I owe that to a guy called Stan Irwin, and my manager, right. Joe Scandori, and I was in the lounge, and we used to do a show at 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. And that's the first time I met you, and you sat at the far bar. Now, true? Now, they think I'm kidding. We had met before in New York, before right. you got to the Sahara. That's right, when you had the daytime show, hit the clock, win a cookie. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Hit the dime, no, hit no, the no, buzzer. No, no, what no. was that dumb well, show you, you had? Well, it was called Do You Trust Your Wife? <laughs> You heard the crowd? Yeah, well... <laughs> Everybody watched. Kept me going for four years It there. sure did. And meanwhile, I was up in Connecticut at the Red Lobster watching a lobster come off the table going... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't do that, I'm Jewish. Anyway, but uh, anyway... <laughs> anyway, folks, segueing. Uh, Eleven years ago, I was in the lounge, and I'll never forget when I met you. And you sat at the back lounge, and I got so nervous, as I am tonight. For the first time in the history of The Tonight Show, I say with honesty, I am nervous. Nervous, not in the sense of worrying about my security as a performer, but because it's a, like an anniversary, a special night. I'm being very sincere about this. And I must say to you, Johnny, on behalf of my family and myself and all your fans, and this sounds like a, uh, you know, like we said in the no. Army, yes, I know. making the nose go purple. Uh, the guy went, don't go purple. But uh, what I'm saying to you is, I thank you, I thank you for making my family and yours truly yeah. Get a little bit up the ladder, and I appreciate well, it. Well, you didn't have to say that. Okay. I want to tell you, one night he's working in the lounge in the Sahara, and of course he's hilarious. And everybody that was anybody in town that meant anything come to watch him. People, guys would cut their show so they can get out in time to watch him. I mean, he was the biggest draw, and customers couldn't get in. They, everybody wanted to see Rickles. And one night he gets a guy at the bar and he's saying to him, come here, Nazi, bite the stick. Kiss the ring, Nazi. Come here, Nazi. Hey, Nazi, Nazi, I'll show you this, Nazi. Stand up. And the guy stands up, Rickles on a stage. The stage is seven feet tall. The guy stands up, and after he stands up, he's not on a stage, he's eye to eye. <laughs> And Rickle says to him, hey, you want to spit on a Jew? <laughs> I couldn't. Now, I got carried away. I was wearing a wristwatch that I saved up to buy. It was a beautiful wristwatch. I wanted that wristwatch. And, and I took off the wristwatch, and I dove as the curtain was coming down. You know, a pretty fat guy take a run and a dive under the curtain, and I give it to him. Really? He thought it was a piece of garbage. He gave it, <laughs> he gave it to the valet. Give I was watch. so thrilled with him, yeah. He did. Yeah. He, he, he I remember really. sitting there at 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes at that last show. I've done four morning, already. Sit anyway. <laughs> and I'll tell you, Bert, Bert came up with Merv Griffin uh, up in... Uh, Merv, you remember him. Oh, and, I <laughs> And he, he came... He's starting to do good now. <laughs> oh, I, all those guys do good, but this guy on his anniversary... We can only say this on the anniversary. We'll not say it again. I, you are, without question, 11 years, hey. You know, we all make jokes about you, and I'm the first one to sit in the green room and go, oh, he's going to dumper, or he's doing good, or this or that, and I vote on you. But 11 years, I'll tell you, 11 years, get up in the morning, I look at the Lord, and I bless him for my good things. But I'll tell you, after 11 years, there is nobody better, there is nobody that can come near you, and I say with honesty, You've got it made, and God has blessed you with a lot of friends. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hagger just leaned over and says, he believed that. You believe that. <laughs> well, buddy knows I kid around. Yeah. We will take a short break here, and we'll come right back. Wonderful. <laughs> Another great kick about doing this show, and I've said this publicly, uh, really? just working with not only Ed, we've been together, Ed and I, for 15 years, but having Doc Severinsen here every night with a great group of musicians, it is an absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, 
He is without a doubt one of the finest musicians in the entire world on that trumpet, and all of the guys who play in our band are superb musicians, and it's great every night to sit here and listen to him. We'll be right back. Yeah, Did that you, means oh, you're on. Hey, could could we could we give Freddie a, a little hand? It's your producer, but well, well, I'm I'm do it. And of course. Uh, as a matter of fact, okay. everybody on this show, uh, you know, this is a very complicated show to do. And Peter people only see who's out here, but then Bobby oh. Quinn and Peter and all the coordinators and the writers and everything and Freddie DeCordova. You got to stand. It's a, it's a complicated show to put together. And Shirley, uh, little and Shirley, but all of them. And then, you know, and the, what I think I know what this is for. This is very I great. have been announcing for the past four or five days that Sammy Davis would be on the show tonight, and I don't want you to think that we were saying that just so you, you know people would say, "Hey," yeah. and then he doesn't show up. But Sammy apparently is ill. He's been working it's very hard day. in the NBC Follies, and they sent him home today from rehearsal out here. And this is what he sent tonight. Isn't that nice? It's not his wreath. This is yours. So isn't that nice? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Love and peace, Sam. I hope he's well, because we're gonna... Should have gotten that during the monologue, this one. I needed that. <laughs> Rest in peace. But, no, John, can, nice. I, can I say something? If I ever get sick, I'll send you a snake plant. <laughs> Wouldn't you what, say... a snake plant? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, right, okay. <laughs> and like a dumbbell, he leaned over. Yes, I do. Plant. I answer anything. You know, the whole secret uh, over 11 years, when you die with monologues, when you say die in our business, doesn't he always come off funny? It's like with Bert's sense of humor. He comes off and he does when he hosts the show and he does a monologue, goes, mm, mm. And that's what makes people laugh because sometimes you get screams and sometimes you get what we call real hysterical laughter. I lay on the bed many nights and I say to the wife, we had plans tonight, but Johnny's rolling I with see. a bad monologue. <laughs> but your monologues really, your monologues have really become part of it. We'll, we'll be finished in a minute, Freddie. <laughs> Freddie is, is the dumbbell that says, United. <laughs> I want to bring out this young lady Do because she has want. been. Thank sure you. Enough. She has. Uh, she Feel beef, nice big chunks of it, meat byproducts and beef chunks, and you know how your dog loves that. The other thing that you can be sure about with Alpo is that it's a complete and balanced diet with soy, vitamins, and minerals. So if your dog isn't already getting Alpo, consider switching him to it, because we think Alpo beef chunks dinner is a very nice way to say, "I love you," to your dog. Oh, here's something else that your dog will love. Liver Snaps treats are made with real liver, and dogs love them. Treat your dog to Liver Snaps. In Hollywood, some of our guests stay at the new Sheraton Universal Hotel, one of the more than 300 Sheraton hotels and motor inns throughout the world. Olga Connolly is with us tonight. She has competed in the last five Olympic Games in 1956. She uh, won a gold medal uh, for, the, uh, for Czechoslovakia in the discus throw. In 1972, she was captain of the women's track and field team and... Uh, She's currently Director of Recreation at Loyola Marymount University. Would you welcome, please, Olga Vitakova Connolly. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Looks like we have something dangerous planned here tonight, and I hope I can get uh, Rickles and uh, Mr. DeRocher involved in this also, just for the fun of it. Uh, <laughs> You had, a, uh, you had an article in, um, I think, Los Angeles Times after the uh, Billie Jean King, uh, Bobby Riggs tennis match, and you said, uh, I think, in effect, that there are a lot of sports that women can compete on an equal par with men. True? Not just only tennis. She obviously well, proved she can beat him. Yes, they can, but there are certain limitations. I mean, if you take a man and a woman who are equally trained and mm -hmm. approximately the same size, then there's a if strength is involved and speed, then the man is most likely to win. Right. And therefore, it's not a good idea just to brush aside this whole question of uh, opportunity for women competition. Right. And um, 
and say, well, high school girls can compete on the men's teams. It just wouldn't work that way. We have to have a very good program where women compete against other women and get recognized in their own category. Mm -hmm. There are only very few sports that you could call it unisex sport, like skeet shooting or pistol yeah. shooting, because that's a matter of reflexes and coordination. And the male-female <coughs> co coordination compares about the same. No, but what you're saying is in a event like skiing, men, because of their strength, would probably be stronger yes. skiers yes. than women, and they could never really compete yes. uh, in that kind of an event. Yeah, and also greater stability of joints and so forth. It, uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't mean that the female is inferior or constructed right. in an inferior way, but simply there isn't as powerful, fatigue's easier. Right. Now, you threw the discus. Mm -hmm. Now, you could beat uh, the average man in the discus throw, could you not? How far did you oh, throw the yes, discus? Oh, yes, I can, because I'll have superior skills, and the average man isn't trained. Also. But that's not a particular strength thing? That's more timing than it is both. strength? It's timing and strength, especially nowadays, you have to do a lot of weightlifting. Yeah. And you have to have quite a, like when I was in Munich, I could bench press, you know, the bench press is 200 you pounds. You could bench press uh, 200 yeah. pounds? Yeah, and I could uh, make a deep knee bend with about 390. A something. deep knee bend with 390 <laughs> pounds on your shoulders? <laughs> 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 It sure. kind of, a lot of women. It, it, it doesn't hurt your legs so much, but you can you put the weight on and you feel your spine, the vertebrae going. But you, you sing very high for the next ten years. Or so. It's murder if you have a beef with the hubby. Yes. Uh, do you, a lot of women are against weightlifting. They think it makes them. They think it makes them muscular. It's not true. No, it, it gives you definition. Right. But um, it doesn't built like those, what they call the big, ugly muscles. The biceps, I remember so. when I came to this country, my first uh, meeting was in New York, and people came actually down from the stands, and they wanted to feel my muscles, because they thought that... But uh, you're, you're not muscular. You have, you mean, your arms well, are... I, I am mus we all are muscular. I mean, that's... Well, I mean, you know, but I mean, you, don't, you don't have, like, big biceps. Uh, no, you don't have big biceps. This, this, uh, only in order to build a big biceps, you have to work on it very right. hard. And, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. Now, we're, we're going to try a few things, which we have not rehearsed at all. Uh, Greg kind of set up these events. Uh, what could I compete with you in, or the rest of us here? Well, I, I don't know. They kind of tricked me. They, they told me to wear a sweatsuit. Well, and, you know, all these years, I kind of dreamt about being on Johnny Carson's show. And You'd like to come those, and... Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, beautiful things. Uh, excuse me, Olga, I didn't hear. Did you uh, and probably you asked, where, what country are you from originally? Czechoslovakia. Oh, bless your heart. We were in Yugoslavia, so that's a beautiful... Yeah, I, know, that's, uh, I know the that's, area. Yeah, it's, it's a neighbor. Thank you for that travel log. Dobre. in Czech. What is that? You hockey puck in Czechoslovakia? What a terrible Well, that thing. just means I'm lonely. Yeah. <laughs> what, what can we try now? Well, we can uh, try some sit-ups. Sit-ups. Sit like sit but he told me you'd be wearing some warm-up suit. No, I don't really have anything, but I can take my jacket off or something. What's that mean? That's it. Arm wrestling? Arm wrestling. That's not an event, though, in the Olympics, is it? No, it isn't. But, but a wide world of sports had that on uh, one afternoon with well, these lumberjacks somewhere up in Oregon where they... Where they do this, uh, the hand wrestling? That's right, yeah. yeah. They're incredible, women and men. Mm. Now, is that, that's only strength, isn't it? Yes, that's on. Well, they, they or have timing? Some, I guess there's some timing involved, too. Now, I'm not very good at it. Huh. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, I can see this coming already. Right. Can I take my jacket off? Sure, sure do whatever you want, sure. Thank you. Have this back Thursday. Surely. <laughs> Eddie, have it back Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> now, how does this work? I think, I think like this. Okay, now... Don't, don't, don't I get in like this? Isn't that, isn't like that, isn't that thumbs? That's right. Like is that, that? Is that right? Now, the elbows now, have to... No, I was supposed to go this way or that way. Down. What? You can't hang on with their left arm. No, the, the, you, you, you can loose. just... You can, all right, That's no it. left arm. That's it. All right, now you have to go this way That's and it. I have to go the other way. Is that it? That's okay. it. Had a boy. And we say on your mark, it said go. I'll get that. will be fine, yes. I will referee this one, John. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh, geez, don't make me else. laugh because when I if laugh. If I don't make you I laugh, I'm gonna you're gonna break my arm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're, you're 
Oh. No, you're you're strong. No, you're strong. I was really I was doing the best I could do there. No, you were. Oh yes, I was. And you're strong. <laughs> Wait. Now what? This this I don't know what. what now we are supposed to play basketball. <coughs> Basket sit ups first. And sit ups. Well, now that's those are rough, aren't they? Sit ups. Yeah. Sit ups. What? You want to get involved in this, Rickles? Oh, hey, whatever, whatever you say, Coach. You come come on come on over, come on over. <laughs> Eddie, oh, oh say Eddie. come, Eddie. Shirley, hold the same talk, Shirley. I'll referee. I'm going to referee. You want to referee? I'll referee. Oh, good, I'll kick some lime on your pants. That's all right. <laughs> right this way, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, but now we are going to have Kane into the pool. <laughs> now, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> Never oh, mind. he's got sneakers, and I'm wearing. Why, why are you dressed for the whole because, thing? Because no, no. Don't we have to? If you, if you do sit-ups, doesn't that somebody have to hold your feet? No, you you, you do them. You sit down. <laughs> no, no, you just bend your knee. What? Like this. Yeah. Bend your knee. No, I just. Do I do? You sit down. Well, oh, fine. Do we have a picnic blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of bent knees yeah. and have a, and just. Push your feet against the floor, and I that see. way you don't need anybody to hold your feet. No, what feet. do we no, have? We don't. You know, we have the. I don't know if I should bring it up, but we have two competing companions. Oh, we do. We oh, have two what? brothers who. who What'd she say? But that's all right. But we won't. We, it doesn't. All right. Now what do we do? We are individuals. Arms. Arms like that. All right. Oh. How many of these do we do? I think uh, it was supposed to be timed. Time? First to 25. What do you mean first to 25? Well, 20, 25? Did you ever try to do Good. 25 setups? Get emergency squad here. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's give it a try. Get the oxygen. All right. Okay. There's no way. But wait, somebody will start. I'm referee. I will start. There's no way you're going to do 25. You I'm two. hip. I know that. Go ahead. Start. Oh. Go. Go. Come on, Don. Hey, One. Yeah. Two. No, I know. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, keep your feet down, nine, right, so many ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> No. <laughs> no wonder you didn't get married to you at 38. We'll be right back after this message. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> Billsbury Bunt Cakes. Fancy cakes made easy. Watch that ring of macaroon. Now you see it. Now you don't. But slice the bunt cake and there's the macaroon inside. Chocolate Macaroon is one of five Bunt brand ring cakes from Pillsbury. Cake, filling, and glaze mix all in one box. So you don't have to be a fancy baker to bake a fancy cake. Bunt Cakes from Pillsbury. We have tonight. All right, who knows what's going to happen tonight? It's going to be... Good evening, Johnny Cakey. Oh, oh, oh. It's strange that you asked. So I, why did I bring that up? I know there, I know there's a full moon, and that's what happens. Did you that's notice there's a full moon out oh, tonight? Yes, I can feel it. Well, that's the way it goes. Oh, Johnny, I feel so good. <laughs> What's going on around here? It's the full moon. All right. Anyway, we have uh, Vicky Carr with us tonight. Bert Muston. Uh, who am I leaving out? Ann Turkell and this gentleman, a dear friend, really. And um, on Friday, November 14th, he's going to have another shot at immortality. They're going to, they're going to give him a special on another network, and uh, NBC is countering that uh, show with something entertaining. Uh, he's also going to host right here, the week of when, October the 13th, I believe. Would you welcome this year's poster child for rabies, Don Rickles? <laughs> nah, I'm not going on. Come back. <laughs> Louis Belson, he give him a solo, he goes bananas. <laughs> How you feel, Louis? I spoke to Pearl, she's fed up. <laughs> Do I need straps? 
Okay. Look at your notes and let's get it over with. <laughs> Who needs notes with you? Oh, We've known each other so long. John, really, it really We've not seen each other. And it, we haven't... For at least four or five months. Yeah, it really has. So, <laughs> not you know, my career has been... <laughs> but it's uh, nice to see you again, But John. you're doing a big special. Yeah, we are, uh, November 14th. Mm -hmm. And uh, for CBS, every network takes a shot at it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you, you... We feel the public is wrong and we're going to prove it. <laughs> we keep trying, and uh, Dave Tebbett and Bob Wood and Freddie Silverman, they all sit together and go, what are we going to do with the Jew? What are we going to do? <laughs> you know, and one black guy in the hall goes, I know what to do with him. <laughs> You got a problem? No, no, I just... Uh, <laughs> this, this, uh... You use this theme for how long have you been using that? Isn't that the call to the, uh... The for the bulls, the bullfighter? Right, right that a boy. You get another one right, and you'll go on, hit the music, and win a gun. <laughs> That's right. Gee, Johnny, I never saw this alert, really. Ah, uh, by the way, I saw Joanna in the fashion show. Your wife, you remember yeah. Joanna? Eight by ten? Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> she's sitting home now in the estate going, I hope he brings the check! <laughs> Anyway, uh, when he met her, she went under the name of Laverne Laverne. <laughs> the dove died, she, she you know. She uh, <laughs> I said the dove died, and, jo and Doc sits here going, I want the job. Give me a break. I want the job. <laughs> Tell him what you told me, how fed up you are filling in for everybody. <laughs> Be like this guy here. When God gave out personalities, he skipped them. <laughs> how do you feel, Tommy? Atta boy, I spoke to the clinic. You're doing great. <laughs> Good to see the guys in the band. The shipment will be in Friday. <laughs> <laughs> they believe you. <laughs> the one trumpet player went, he knows about it? <laughs> What have you been doing since I've seen? I know you've been with the New Hearts. You went on another vacation. Well, you always go on vacation with the New Hearts. Well, it, life doesn't seem... Uh, it seems like a big vacation, but really... Uh, <laughs> it what's does? Happened is, by the way, I must say, my mother's been under the weather, so that's... Uh, I heard taking, that. I hope she's she taking, watching. Yeah, and I, not to bring the show on a level that... Uh, thank God, she's pretty good, but uh, she's in Mount Sinai on Miami uh, Beach. And, Edda, we hope you get better Thanks, soon. John, and she loves you. And uh, I said, Mom, I'd mention... I said, hi, Mom. And I spoke to her, and she sits in oxygen. You know, she really? has that... Uh, uh, a, a sad disease, emphysema. So when I sit by the bed, I said, Mom, see, the family, see, with our families, with every family, when we get older, we all have, my mother has great drive, and everybody likes to say, mm -hmm. how does she look to you, you know? So Barbara and I arrived in Miami, and I said, Mother, and the doctor said, Don, Mom's gonna be okay, but you know, she doesn't look great, you know, but don't tell her that. Now, my two aunts meet me in the hall and go, wait till you see her. <laughs> Now, they love my mother, don't misunderstand. But the Jewish families all sit by the bed and go, oh, she looks so bad. You know? So I walked in, I said, Mom, you look great. And she went, honest to God. And she got out of the bed and started to do the tango. Uh, I wish. But well, uh, she's coming along fine, and she watches this. Uh, she's staying up, especially tonight, uh, to watch the show. She watches this uh, very often to doze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have something when we get older. Watch out. But she loves you, and she remembers yeah. the good days when we first we came on the show. And, uh, and to this day, isn't it odd that, uh, Doc, uh, I look at you so you feel you're part of it? Uh, you look like a bad couch salesman, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, when you get a substitute, find a guy. He did, this isn't his thing, you know. His thing is sitting home going... You're gonna die That's like right. that. They're gonna put you in a casket. <laughs> so, uh, my, what was I saying? I don't have the slightest idea. It doesn't matter. You're dressed up in your Filipino suit. <laughs> this is good if you live in the islands. But uh, we, uh, we, we, we remember when I first came, yeah. and to this day, nervousness, what I say? To this day, I come on your show, and you know. You don't get nervous thing. anymore. Well, I, I remember the very first night you were on the show, actually, and you were. The white knuckle, remember? Yeah, oh, sure. Kidding. We'd known each other, you know, seen each other in, in clubs and so forth. Yes, socially. We did. Oh, did we ever? <laughs> when you said to me, we didn't have been there yet. Now. Okay, Johnny now that's true. Drink, that's she true. She doesn't drink anymore. That which is we true. Must say. And, and I, and the time I, I saw do. you, you were a little overweight and running around saying, Psst, little girl. Right, right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, remember that? <laughs> remember her, right? We, let's put it this way we were both in heat. Uh, 
But now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but... Uh... <laughs> Now, the I went to the main event. See, I didn't go for the certificate. I went with many young ladies. You, like a dumbbell from the Midwest, went, where, where do I sign, Alvin? You, you better believe that. You, you better believe that. I, I, I get to visit the hack at Hassock every other Thursday. Go to look at the front of you. Anyway, let's don't talk about that. No, I got news. The reason we can talk about those things is because you, John, you know, this is a great pressure game. You know, I'm, uh, you've asked me, uh, and Freddie DeCovita, DeCovita, and Peter LaSalle. Peter Godiva. The, the guys, you know, and because of you, have asked me to uh, host for a week while you're gone on another one of your great tours around the world, you know. <laughs> His lovely wife isn't here tonight. She's packing. <laughs> no, uh, no. She gets up in the morning going, where are we going, John? Pakistan. You I never the, heard of it. You know the first time I was ever out of this country? It was three, four weeks ago? Yeah, and you I weren't had... missed. Uh, <laughs> Actually, actually. I never, I hardly ever travel. I know you don't, because, uh, and I have a great statement about that, because my Can family, we hear it? it's, a, it's a classic. My family says, my mother says, Boulder Dam and the Colorado River, it's America. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, Europe? Because you got money. <laughs> and the doctor's going, she's alive. <laughs> Because it's true, we have a great country, and That's we all, true. when we get a few bucks, well, you, you're beyond that. Uh, you are a, a man that you, but surprisingly, because of being uh, well-educated, you went to the University of Nebraska, right? I finished there, yes. Yes, and you... <laughs> what did the meters say? That was a four. Could we go on now? Now, anyway, you studied bad corn. And, uh... He, uh, no, Jerry Taggy went to the University of Nebraska. That's right. And he's now sitting at home going, punt, punt, punt. Uh, that's a football uh, joke. He's a quarterback. I know, I know who he is. Unfortunately. I know Good. I often wonder what's in there. Oh, hello, folks. Just a cigarette. Vicky Carr's coming out. Cool it. That's right. Anyway, uh, what are you, a seal? Anyway, uh, got a broad applauding for cigarettes. <laughs> Talking about travel. You travel all the time. You've been more places than I have. Not really. Yes, no, you I have. You've See, been to Italy. On honeymoon to you've Europe. been to Mexico. You've been uh... Mexico is beautiful. I really love right. Mexico. You went there again with the New Hearts? Yes, I went with the New Hearts. Well, well, is that a package was... deal you get or what? No, no. The New Hearts. <laughs> the New Hearts will live in hell. Oh, I see. I didn't... Uh, <laughs> he comes in and says, Oh, you want a breakfast? <laughs> uh, and he's not even Japanese, That's but right. he's an idiot. Of course. Uh, but uh we went down to Mexico, and it's great in Mexico. The, unfortunately, uh, the Presidente and the country, they, with all economic problems today, you don't have those problems. You have a big ranch with one horse going, hi, Doc. <laughs> uh, and Johnny, you don't have to worry about that at all. You just sit up in Bel Air and say, it's your serve, Harold. <laughs> uh, we people have to work, you understand? That's why I'm on this, for the 350 to cover the new room we're Three, gonna put on the house. 320. 320. <laughs> <laughs> it's 350 for me, otherwise I leave. <laughs> but uh, go to the commercial and be charming. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. we'll do this. Don't be we'll... nervous. Just All right, I'll do my best. And you're getting grayer. <laughs> when you're getting balder. I know that. Yes. But you're older. And I spoke to the clinic, you have tops a year. <laughs> Look at the way the band went. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you love. We're going to come right back. Oh, really? Uh, hello there, Daddy. Kiss my kumquats. Well, <laughs> After this message, uh, this. we're really good friends. You know, people, strangely enough, you'll hear oohs and ahs once in a while, and I think we're good friends, right? Well, I got news. That doesn't sell, though. If we came out and I was kind of <laughs> kind to you, I mean, three guys in Oklahoma would go, shut them off, the dummies are getting nice to each other. You know. Yeah, you're right. So let's tell it like it is. You annoy me. <laughs> because I, they don't want to know our oh, personal right. problems. Actors, isn't it the truth when you establish an image? You establish an image. Your image has always been America. I mean, there's never any problem. Bob Hope, you know, gets up in the morning, right. and they hoist him on the pole, and the white Dolores goes, da 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 I mean, that's America. Each one does his own thing. It's not that Bob isn't a great American, you know, unless you heard something. No, no. Uh, but uh, everybody, you know, has their thing. My right. thing has always been the heavy, the bandit. You know, I've always loved you, you know. But you played motion pictures even before you I've became... I've always loved him? Yes. You played motion pictures before you became well-known on television. I saw you the other night in a submarine picture. Yeah, Run Silent, Run Deep. Run Silent, Run Deep. Yeah, that was my, that was my claim to fame. The, the best thing that ever came out of that was knowing Clark Gable. Yeah, with Clark was, Gable, uh, there was... He was a great man, rest his soul. But, I mean, uh, 
Though, see, acting, when you do a little gable, you used to do a little gable. Well, I'm not Rich Little, you know. I know that. And I'm not Frank Gorshin, you know. I know that. I'm me. I know it's that. It's starting to get to me. Yeah. But uh, Gable said to me, this is the, this is the, this is true. Uh, Gable said to me one night, we sat, Jack Warden, who I adore, I don't see too fine often, actor. but he's a fine actor. Jack Warden asked me to come in the dressing room one night. He said, Gable wanted to talk to you. And, uh, you know, when you said Gable in those days, I, I complete, to this day, if, if the good Lord put it, there's certain people you're in awe of. Right. Even, I'm sure you, Jack Benny wrist is still, you yeah. weren't always in awe of Jack. Right. So when uh, Gable walked in the room, I, I said, uh, Mr. Gable, he said, call me Clark. I said, well, sir, I just want to say it's a great treat to be in this film with you. He said, I want to tell you something, kid. You know something? You're crazy. You pick on people. But remember, what you do, the world's going to jump on you. And when they do, do what Gable does. Take a belt of booze, look up and say, hey, God, I'm doing my best. Remember. <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much the truth, because right. we all have to take a stand. You know, I go on this show many times, and I'm always jumping on you and right. so forth, and people expect I that. I don't mind And I you really do. I do want to jump on you, because I have many, many problems. <laughs> I, I'm married 10 years, and I got a great wife. And last night, you know, the erector set, I got a little excited. So I said, Puffy cat. <laughs> and she put a bowl of milk under the bed. I see. <laughs> And we just laid there and hummed for about a half hour. <laughs> Marriage isn't all sex, right, John? What? <laughs> There's more to it. There really is. And I'm trying to find out what, what it is. Uh, but we love each other, and we're very, very happy. We're married now 10, ten years. years. How long are you married? <laughs> oh, unfortunately, you had some bad breaks, and you had some bad breaks. Well, your time You guys are jinx. I'll roll the dice again. <laughs> oh. But you got to love. You just can't think it's... Hey, Shirley, here I am. You gotta do what I do. Open up your robe, stand on top of the bathroom, and go, hello, world. <laughs> Let them know who you are. <laughs> get wild, get crazy. Well, the world's Put getting... pachis on your lips, anything. The world's getting smaller all the time. It sure Dave. is. Yeah. That's a good comment. Here's a word. <laughs> You're a real dummy. You always were. From oil of ole. <laughs> <laughs> the Comanches are in town. Uh, how about a crazed physician? A crazed physician, yes. Yeah. Terminally insane, yes, I right. think. <laughs> Would you welcome Mr. Warm? Don Rickles. out right away a vicious guy <laughs> I hope your penguin dies in your tub <laughs> hell that means happy new year you really drink coffee absolutely hey Eddie get a crella we'll get the cab out in about a half hour <laughs> I'm, off, I'm off of uh, off of booze oh really yeah give him a prize <laughs> What do I care? You know, well, I, I remember you, you made up for a lot when you were drinking. That, well, I... Got the old days, you used to just lay around the restaurant going, <laughs> And people said, that's Johnny Carson. Your mother was in Nebraska going, He's bombed! He's bombed! You we're and Jewish I... people. We don't drink. We just sit there saying, Want another one, sir? <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you and I had some moments together ourselves. Let's be sure. honest. Though. Well, hey, we had our heyday now. I'm... You're a little older than I. I'm still a young old kid. It. Right? Old, well, hey. old it. I know, when we played tennis, you forgot when we first started? Now, I was just telling Bobby Quinn, the director, you know, yes. the, little, the little midget in the booth? Right. Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong about little people. I love little people, but he keeps running around. I see him at the health clubs all the time, sucking on my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, why do you do that? Your what? tie's laying right. Why do you do that? I just, it's a nervous habit. Well, nervous habit? Well, get over it. Go to a rest home or something. <laughs> How's the... Did you get engaged, Dad? Yes, I did. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, did you, uh, did you, did you see the girl you got engaged to? I certainly have. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the front of a bad bus. <laughs> no, she's that. a pretty girl. Oh. Mm. <laughs> huh. You gotta be alone on the highway, searching, wandering. <laughs> if you don't get Bambi, you get her. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, man. You're a big fella. You can handle it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just can't picture you on the wedding night on top of the furniture. Over here, hon! 
Uh, I just, uh... <laughs> Look, when all you hey, had... you can go to heck, folks. We're gonna laugh. <laughs> we saw the girl. What is it? When she takes off the girdle, I love that. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria. Lovely girl. Lovely girl. Really, really. I met her in the Navy. She used to stand on the dock. <laughs> Please, Ed. <laughs> we anyway. had a, I must say that, Ed, you had an engagement party. Yes. Which we weren't invited to, but I'm not, I'm not hurt. You wait till you see the gift we give you. <laughs> Picture of my gynecologist on his way home. <laughs> my gynecologist? Your gynecologist? Anyway. You change you the pimples on your face are gone, <laughs> and Billy Eckstein is alive. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Billy? Anyway, uh, scat me and crawl this in the back going, Billy Eckstein died? <laughs> no. <laughs> was in my dressing room, like, I love my son and my son come home. My baby know my son. I said, shut up, I hate rhythm. <laughs> Buddy Richards in the back room, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy, mama, daddy. You don't see this anymore, goddess. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, with the new wife, in case you don't fool around, you can just go, wow. <laughs> but, uh, what did Bobby Quinn say? Who cares? Oh, no, no. <laughs> No, I remember when we pl first played, you don't play tennis, Ed. <coughs> you got trouble moving that damn thing around. <laughs> you ought to put a little horn on top of your head. I don't know why I'm picking you perspiring. I really got you locked tonight. I I'm never laughing. saw you perspire. I'm laughing. Gentile bro. guys like you, once in a while, you and Johnny get a little trickle. Yeah. Jewish people, we perspire, we're emotional. You people from the Midwest, you know, well, you're from Philadelphia, but originally, where were you from? Lowell, Massachusetts. Wrong! Oh. Ah. I had, a, I had a strict family. We were not, not allowed to perspire. La, 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 la. Pass it. <laughs> I hate when you get physical. I, hate I know, that. I know that. You know that. I gave you a problem. Once at a party, I gave you a little... Buddy Rich is on the show, and he's a black belt. You once know at a party. You've never forgotten. We had a party once in Las Vegas, remember? That and I came over, and just we were all fooling around. That's right. And I gave you a little... Well, you had a couple of belts, and we had a good time, and John, you know, Ed, we're not, we're not interrupting, are we? <laughs> Ed keeps looking at the light going, isn't it on me? <laughs> how, how do I look? Hello. In brewing beer and anything, oh. being really good takes pride. Catherine Coleman is home. Just watch this. <laughs> Here's a word from Budweiser. When you say Hey, Zach, I need a break. Give me a good sideline shot. Do what I can, man. Turn it on, huh? When you take up sports photography, you know what's coming. Action. It takes extra effort to get exactly what you want. It takes pride in what you're doing and the guts to stick with it. about your all, man. The Budweiser people have that kind of pride, too. And every taste of Beechwood Age Budweiser says so. Loud and clear. Hear it talking? When you say Budweiser, Tony Musanti stars in Quality of Mercy, a special movie, Thursday at 9, 8 Central on NBC. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, he's... Good. Don Riggles is here. Buddy Rich, John Biner, Kathy Rich, Dale Alexander is going to talk about hair. Well, and, uh, well... I got no problem. He might tell you how to fill that out. Why? I, you know, I, I, I wonder why guys worry about that. You know, you got to be yourself. You know, like, you have a full head of hair, but it's thinning. You know, it's oh, no, no, no. In the front, you had much more when you were younger. Look at some... No, it was pictures. darker when I was younger. Darker? Yeah, I had a little pompadour. Remember those? When you were in high school, I had a little pompadour. Wonderful. That's a, these are good facts, but I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> what what I don't is know. this? You I'm starting to feel like Jack, <laughs> rest his soul. For God's sake. You know. <laughs> but I must say that... As we get older, we change. And hair is not the big thing. Oh, Don't worry. Of course not. I didn't say it well, was. Well, no. You made fun of people that are bald. I wasn't making fun of your baldness. Yes, you did. Really, you're me. not really bald. You don't steam me. I'm going to knock this Marine right on the floor. 
really got it in for you tonight, Ed. You know why? Why? Because you just found a beautiful girl. Did you, did you meet Victoria? Of course I met We made Victoria. jokes. To those of you that love Ed, you three. <laughs> no. He has a beautiful... You, you never... Uh, are you going to, when Ed gets married, are you going to uh, go for a few beans and give him a nice party? I'm just going for a few beans. <laughs> I got him a can of jalapeno beans. I told you don't have to kiss it anymore. Yeah. I no, no. told you that. I begged you. I said, Ed, be yourself. Walk oh, yeah. right up to him one night and go, hey, John. <coughs> He's thin. He'll fall down. It's all over. <laughs> you know the furniture? Just sit by the desk. Who's going to stop you? Freddie? The Spanish? Freddie de Cavite? You want to? He's you wanna... busy going to the parties with his wife, Janet, saying to big people, I'm Freddie. I'm Johnny's producer. Go away, dumbbell. Go away. <laughs> Tell little. Can, am... you, can you break the big news that happened in your dressing room tonight, or is it too premature? Because I happen to be there at that historic moment. I must say what you said, which is a classic. What happened was, uh, NBC has, uh, once again, <laughs> as ABC has and CBS has, and three presidents of networks are now at Forest Lawn going, why? Why? But NBC and Dave Tebbett, my dear friend, and I knew we were in because he sent a gift around. A gift arrived. An 8 by 10 glossy of a TV set. <laughs> But I knew then and there He's waiting to see if the show that Aaron Rubin and I, mm -hmm. along with Joseph Scandori, ah. my wife Barbara, who is fully behind this thing, another pilot, <laughs> we have been given another opportunity to skyrocket to fame on television. Johnny Carson started me on television, and you've held me back. <laughs> another now, pilot. once again, NBC has seen fit. Herb Schloss, wow. who you see in the hall going, with my wawa. And... All these big executives you're sat have, together. You're going to do another show? Yes. No, I'm going to open up Ralph's Market and squeeze tomatoes. Of course. <laughs> that I would have... gives me a dumb line I like that. Believed. Am I right, Ed? Yes, you're Well, right. stop laughing. Is it, uh... I'm getting fed up with you, mule. I'm getting fed up. <laughs> will it be, uh... Will it Ever be... since you got engaged, you changed. Will it be seen in this country? No, no. It'll be seen in Yugoslavia. <laughs> Yugoslavia because they constantly have the runs. Is it on? I gotta go. <laughs> you ever spend an afternoon in Acapulco? Wait up, Tolly! <laughs> I don't need da 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 I know how I walk. <laughs> hey, the dumbbell drummer that keeps I'm going da 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 Wait till you see the great one come out. He's in the back now going, my wrists. <laughs> so you got, when does this, when does this show go on the air? This doesn't go on the air. We wait just for a, a storm, we put a wet wire on our lip and hope. <laughs> going on the air. We're just going to kill time. Well, you've had a lot of pilots, haven't you? I mean, you've done a lot of... Uh... Tell them the line. I Let's said you've them. had your hand in more pilots than an Air Force proctologist. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> I guess I didn't say that one. <laughs> I know what a proctologist is. I know. That's, that's a guy that stands in a hall with a pole and goes, I'm coming, Harold. <laughs> anyway, uh, you must, you brought up proctologist. I used well. to think it was a guy on a sub. Anyway, uh, that's a little deep. Well, of course it is. See the periscope. Uh, you yes. Well, I wish you. A proctologist, for those of you who don't know, if you have a, uh, well, Never mind, it. they know what it is. Oh, they know. Okay, fine. Anyway, well, did, have dinner? to tide you over to that show, you're, you're guessing on Medical Center? Yes. Uh, well, now, what are you playing on that? I'm playing what you think, a retarded moron. Come now, I didn't I mean. say that. <laughs> now, the people laughed when they said that. I, I started... Are you diseased uh, in this uh, episode? <laughs> well, I mean, most people who do guest shots are either horribly... Something terrible has happened to them. What has happened to you? Well, I pilot? use an ointment, and I... Uh, <laughs> it's a some sort of seafood rash. I see, so... <laughs> Service. I had it in the Navy. A it was service. called the Lobsters. Ah. <laughs> uh. well, it's on. deadly. It can is kill it, you. Is it a, is it a well, really deep said dramatic Joe role? Joe Gannon, uh, Chad Everett, who's a wonderful actor. Uh, I know this because he called me today and said I'm a wonderful, wonderful actor. actor. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Chad Everett and Al Ward and uh, Frank Lickman. Al Lickspin. Ward and Frank yeah. Lickman. Yeah, these are big people. These are guys that hang around MGM with a little ball going, Your third! Anyway, uh, they have a big problem. They weren't in the service. They skipped around the house a lot. Anyway, uh, right, Marine Raiders? Right. Crazy guy, yeah. <laughs> all right, squadron. All right. Or dive, now, boy. what do you play in this thing? Uh, <laughs> pardon me? What, do, what is your role Why in this? Why do you interrupt me Be when I was on a roll with this man about the Marines? Don't you like the we'll service? We'll decide if you're on You were in the Navy. You were an ensign uh, going, Everybody to your gun station! <laughs> And the Japanese people going, what? 
I stayed right in my bunk with my pinup of Mara Corday, and that's it. <laughs> that got me through Guam about two months. I, uh, you were in the Marines, right? Yes, sir. Well, yell it out, boy. Marine Raiders! Marine Raiders. He, he's one, too. Uh, <laughs> but, what, now, what is the dramatic part that you're playing? What are you, Al Jolson? Well, maybe. <laughs> uh, the dramatic part I play. <laughs> Why don't you go up in the aisle and make an appeal? Now, uh... It must be a rally from Israel. Uh, do you play a doctor? Do you the play... old lady went, he's Jewish! <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I don't play a doctor. Who would believe me as a doctor? I got trouble spelling it. I play a guy who is a uh, cynical, uh, bitter man. Uh, uh, my God, I'm playing me. <laughs> but uh, I play pretty much a guy, and Ruth Buzzing. Well, what is wrong with you? Pardon me? In the, in, the, in the story, what's wrong with you? What is wrong? Why are you, what, what are you hung up on diseases? Well, <laughs> you're a patient, right? Yes, it's either, well, well I have ulcers. I have a... Oh, well, I, uh, that's what I wanted and, to find and out. I, and I'm dying of it because I need this operation. Oh. I, I know, don't, don't go to pieces. And uh, Ruth Buzzy, who is a lovely actress, it sounds crazy. The girl with the pocketbook and as Ruth is, and I know you're going to laugh. I if you didn't, do, what, why would I'm going to suck your neck. Why would I laugh? Uh, why would you laugh? Because this show isn't making it. That's I why you saw you in, I saw you in Kelly's Raiders. Kelly's Heroes. Kelly, Raiders well. was a picture you saw on Hollywood Boulevard with Ed one night with the blankets over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Man makes four million dollars. Bite a cough. Now, oh, when you're that rich, you don't cough. You just go, hello, get rid of it. <laughs> See, most people don't know. Well, of course they don't that know. That's you, why no, I, I haven't finished the statement. Oh, fine. Did don't you actually... touch me. You know what I have. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that you actually went to drama school. The New York Actors uh, the Drama Place. No, wrong again. All the right, New I... York Actors Drama Place is a garage where you and I had a broad I Thursday. Uh, nevertheless. <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> Her name was Lillian. She worked with an elephant and a dead mule. I know. <laughs> anyway, uh... And then the birds came in and molded, That's remember, right. and flew away. And then Ed came in at the end and went, da-da! Okay. You went to the New York drama, uh, you went to the, uh... I didn't go there, Dumbbell. Get the place you right. You attended that. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Same thing. <laughs> it's, I meant the drama place in New York. No, it's not the drama place in New York. You never went to a drama school. You were in Nebraska saying to the heifer, Wow. <laughs> That's coming out backwards. Ooh, ooh. Boy, he hit the bucket. Anyway, uh, you got to realize you were never an actor. You just skyrocketed to fame. I, you come out in a trailer I, in California. Wait, oh, hold it, hold it. I appeared on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Appeared on Broadway. Really? In Tunnel of Love. Did two United States steel hours. But you're a self-conscious guy. People don't know that. You're not basically an actor. Now, come on, be honest. What do you How mean? Are times... you saying that I can't act? Uh, a fair statement, yes. I would say that. <laughs> Let me put it the other way. You stink. <laughs> you are not an actor. You are a multi-millionaire in what you do. There is nobody wait, wait, that can do wait, what wait, you wait, do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that multi-millionaire? What are you now? What are you a referee you now? What is this? <laughs> My timeout. Rams. First down. Green Bay. <laughs> Clipping on the forty. And Larry McCutcheon going. We lose, and you dumb Bill. We lose. <laughs> and Jimmy Harris going. My arm hurts. My arm hurts. You and Chuck Knox is going. What, what, what's the score? <laughs> Do you consider yourself an And Carol Rosenblum is in the <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Cut that out, folks. He's in the dressing room going... <laughs> <laughs> Do you consider yourself... 37 to 7. Oh, you got some more. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> jump, jump in when you get a minute. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. <laughs> My goodness. Now, what are we going to say? Does the smoking fine smoke bother you? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not going to respect you in the morning. We'll take a pause. We'll be right back.
on the lobby as he's going talk to the animals talk to the birds <laughs> it'll be wonderful you just sit with him and hum to animals and birds all day long <laughs> And you'll get a day job and go back to Chicago and do what you do best. Count, carry the two, five and five is six. Seven and seven is 14. And that's $40. Okay, you cannot go to Mexico. There's notes. This is not your land. You crazy cow. You're not trying to have the land. You stupid baby. You're not going to have the land. It's no good. This is not your land. You take a Carson cigarette box. Oh, oh my God, this box. I brought Carson cigarette box. Carson cigarette box. Oh, Johnny's box. Johnny's cigarette box. Wait a minute. Those of you from the other world. Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. What the hell happened to this? Well, as, as long as you, it's, you've seen what happened. You know how long I've had the cigarette box on his desk? You brought that out from New York City? I brought this from New York. What on earth? It happened last night. Who? Don Rickles. I did not see the Don show Don Rickles last did it last night. Are you putting me on now? No, no. Don Rickles did it last night on the show. He, what I don't the hell did he do with it? The, the wood is broken. <laughs> That's an heirloom. Well, right here. That, looks. I've had that box from, let's see, where I sit here and I hit it with yeah. my pencils during the show to keep my sanity. Well, I know. <laughs> I haven't broken that box. And Don Rickles. How did he do it? What did he, he do? Well, he was having a fit, you know, and he, uh... How could you tell? <laughs> How could you tell? I just saw him in makeup getting ready to tape that uh, FPO uh, Harky, or whatever it is. CPO Shark. CPO Shirky. Uh, no, I don't know. He told a joke and it didn't go well and he got upset and he did it. Did he it? Is he in... He hit it. He hit it with is his he hand. Is he taping now? What? He's taping across the hall. CPO Shark. Can I get over there? Can I get over there? Okay. Be right back. Come on. Just follow me. Is he in studio? Are they taping? Are they on the air? I don't give a damn if they're on the air. Open it up. Rickles. Rickles. Hold. Stop the taping. Stop the taping. Somebody broke my cigarette box. I just started the show. I picked my box up off my desk that I've had for nine years. My box is broken. They told me, they told me you broke it on the show last night. Well, I, I, I really... I, 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 you big dummy. <laughs> hang him. What? <laughs> You're right. Are you in, were you in the middle of something? No, no. I was just hanging around waiting for a Navy to just ship to come in. Did you break this box? Yes, I, I did. I, I'm sorry. Do you but... know how long I've had this box on the show? About nine years. Well, I brought this out from New York. Look at this. That is very expensive. That's a darn shame. I, I'd give it to Tony Randall for a wedding gift. And I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what you plan to do about this. Well, I plan to wrap your hand in it. What do you want yeah. from me? No, I'm sorry to come over and interrupt your show, but when I saw this, I no, got so incensed. All right, it's millions of dollars. What do you care? What, what do you mean? What are you doing? Yours. I'm just punching what? away here with six people trying to stay alive. That's all. Millions of dollars? <laughs> what are you doing with the money? <laughs> this can't be it. I get the feeling you're, you're Dennis James and I'm a bad contestant. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you kept the cotton mill down south. <laughs> if this show goes like the others, you're out of work come January. <laughs> well, I will expect a very expensive trip. Something to replace this. A wonderful, large, wonderful, beautiful x-ray of your lungs. Look, I didn't... 
I didn't mean to interrupt your no, taping you here because I know I you're in your big you dramatic you scene. And you, you know, in your position today, you really are right. one of the biggest guys in the business. I want so my, help me. I want my Next mind. Christmas, I'm going to make sure a tree drops on your head. I mean, <laughs> no, but I'm sorry about the box. Well, so I will, am I. I. I will come up with something. Well, I hope so. But just keep me on your show. You mean so much to me. Certainly. <laughs> No, 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 no. Don't, don't humble yourself in front of these people. Don't, don't humble yourself in front of I want something back. Okay, carry on. Help me. Carry on. Let's see. Johnny Carr, they know who I am. Okay, now wait a minute. Why do you, why do you always do that? Johnny Carson, they know who I am. Don Rickles. <laughs> But he's got to watch himself, because Carol's a two-fisted guy ever since I've known him. He smokes the cigar, he's got the booze going, he's everything. And all he needs the broads, but we got the two wives sitting there going, down, 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 down. Oh, this is Frank Johnny's box. Ooh. When he dies, I'm going to put him in this. No, this is his cigarette box. It's oh, his favorite box. It's a long story. He's a dummy. He doesn't know. That. He's got $40 million. He sits with his wife, Joanna, on the floor and goes, your turn. Anyway, and they put the trains through the tunnel. It's a whole damn thing. They're not even the filter ones. No, who cares? What are we going to discuss this for? Hello? All right. All right. All right. You remember Sinuensis? He worked the Strand. He was there for two years till the pit went down and he didn't know about it. Anyway, uh, that's a show business joke. My next guest and good friend, Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles, is, is finally very busy. His television series, CPO Sharky, seen on NBC Wednesdays at 9, will still be on this fall. Thank you. That's a new record. Rickles has lost more pilots than the Japanese Air Force. Yes. I gotta get mine in early, folks. He is the, he's also the host. Isn't that right, Joe? He's a host of a television special, Us Against the World, or is it U.S. Against the World? Either way. Uh, either way. U.S. or Us. Anyway, he does that on NBC September the 7th from 8 to 10 o'clock, and on September the 27th through August, uh, through, not through August, on September 27th through October the 2nd, he will be at the Boston Music Hall with Stephen Eadie. Busy, busy, busy. Would you welcome Don Rickles? Talking a bird museum. What are you I must uh, say, you're going my, to a, I, I know. You going like, to a Grange meeting or what? <laughs> this is a high class show. This is not some. Uh, I know, I know. Forgive me, but I, I usually don't trust that. I'm I know meticulous. You don't. We come from the same school of being meticulous and dress accordingly. One night you wore a white jumper suit. And I, uh, and I said to my wife, I said, "Hun, look at that. And she said, he looks absolutely adorable. That's but my wife is a lonely Jewess who just <laughs> hangs around the park going, hi. But, hey, Lou, isn't it funny staying up late? <laughs> but, uh, I just got to say something. Because well, this know. man... I Nobody realizes before... By the way, we all realize one thing I just told him. Oh, but you just lay there. Certainly. You get 40 million. Why don't Collect you tell him? money and you, lay there. You started hey, doc, to tell how me. Are you, babe? Good to see you. I spoke to the hospital. Your lip is gone. Now. You started to tell us why you're yeah. dressed this way. I'm dressed this way. Let's do one thing at a time. I'm Otherwise, you know, fine, if we get back Fine. To I get the feeling I'm at a clinic and you're my psychiatrist. No, and I know your problems. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Laugh, Lou. <laughs> anyway, uh... Ball players, they don't know anything. See? Now, anyway, uh, the reason I'm dressed this way, I usually come out with a tie and a shirt. John knows, meticulous, but we're rehearsing CPO Sharky, and there is a rumor and a story about CPO Sharky that it went in the... And John 
bless his heart, since we've known each other, I've had trouble with my own show. I have the best show in the world, I say it, and uh, we are wearing uh, CPO Sharky tonight, and CPO Sharky will be on in the fall, and you people vote. And right now, I'm begging you. No, not really, not so we'll, we'll be on in the fall, but Let's there's no air date, and that's why I'm dressed like this. We just got through rehearsing, and Aaron Rubin is a brilliant man. I'm glad to hear you're on in the fall. Really, I mean that. And we got a guy called Richard Slatter Slattery, who's a heck of an actor. He really I know is. who he is, yeah. yeah. Well, well, fine. I, this, is, this isn't, you know, stump the stars. I see. Uh, but here's what I got to show you, Lou. May I show Lou something? Certainly. Oh, like I asked permission. No, no. See, Lou, when you steal, you're 38, right, Lou? Thumb of a gun, you bad as a gun. <laughs> And I met your wife, Virgie, in the back. She said, Lou's going to steal more bases. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Virgie, I got to tell you this. Virgie, I'll be with you in a minute. Certainly. <laughs> Virgie and Dee Crawford, that's Willie Crawford's wife, and my son, Willie Crawford Jr., are best friends. <laughs> Your that's son true. is Willie Crawford son, Jr.? Willie Crawford Jr., that's oh. true. They go to the same oh, I see. school son, together. I see. <laughs> Man makes six million a year and goes... <laughs> but I'm on in the fall. What? But I'm set for the fall. <laughs> they ain't waiting to move something out so they can move you in. Okay. Ah, God love you, John. You always get that. <laughs> anyway, if I may. Of course. And John, you played ball in the Midwest. Yes. You and your brother Dick in sure. Nebraska said, more corn, Harry. <laughs> Did I ever tell you what we used for a ball? <laughs> okay, go. So, see, see, Lou, when you, when you lead off, you're 38 now, right, Lou? Yeah. Lou, do you under, are these two tough? <laughs> Vern Rapp is the manager, right? And he stands in the dial going, come on, Lou, come on, man, come on, stay, come on, come on, stay, come on, Lou. Hey, Lou, come on, stay, hey, come on, Lou, stay, hey. And Lou's going, huh? <laughs> see, so when you lead off, see, lean like this. And at 38, you got to say, come on, leg. Come on, you mother, move. Move. <laughs> but I must say, on behalf of my son, Larry, my daughter, my family, I must say, from the bottom of my heart, I am a baseball fan. Tommy Lasorda is my idol, and you're the second guy in the world that I adore, and you are a great athlete, and God bless you. Thank you. Read the sign. I'll Don't read it. Read I'll the read sign. It. We'll be right back the in a moment. The dumbbell is reading the sign. That's right. Six mil. We'll, we'll be right back right. in a couple of minutes. We are back. Olivia Lee Brock, Don Rickles, Colleen McCullough, and Eli Wallet will join us. So anyway, really, I hope the show really... <laughs> Lays in there in the fall. Well, thanks, I know John. Uh, and, uh, with uh, Dick Ebersole and uh, Don Olmey, we, uh, yeah. which we did the special. The, see, NBC now, they, they say third and second. It's so dumb with this rating jazz. Uh, that's the only But that's the name of the game. It, it's fair. But they have young people and young guys that are really coming up and doing a heck of a job, and I'm delighted. Yeah. Now, would you, would you be happy with that? Because you're used to, you know, jumping all over and going here and there. Now, the series, you know, locks you in. Kind of a work well, schedule. Well, you know that. We, you, you've discussed uh, this talk about you yeah. doing some films and so forth. And when we get out of our own element, and we know each other a lot of years on, on the honest bit, it, it's, it's amazing that I, I, I keep saying, like, wow, it's almost an ego trip to right. say, if I can only make it on television, like Bob Newhart, who's yeah. made it on television and keeps telling me that time and time again. I've, I've made it on television. I, 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 I really made it, Don. I really made it. <laughs> And you know that. You know Bob I love. He's my dear friend. We travel all over the world together. We share a cabana at the beach. And by the way, speaking of Bob, uh, which I am, yes, I uh, my, my wife and Bob Newhart are both Virgos, and uh, their birthday is uh, 
is this coming weekend. I won't say what day, because uh, I don't want the whole world to say hip, hip, hooray. Right. But I'm going for a bundle. Really? And uh, <laughs> Bob's wife, Ginny, said, and she's pregnant, so she kept saying, I can't see you. <laughs> and uh, she uh, is going to chip in, and we're going to have a little party. A little and it should be nice. Uh, nice. Bob Wood, an old friend of ours, mm -hmm. mutual friend, he used to be president of CBS. Yes. He's right. now running around the highway going, he used to be president of CBS and cars run over him. You know. <laughs> That's the kiss of death. Everybody is... used to be president That's of right. CBS That's at right. one time or another. Well, it's sure, same thing at NBC when they made Bob uh, Mulholland. Mulholland. Yeah, they, they took a guy that was a drive and made him a president, you know. <laughs> and uh, Bob Mulholland was sitting there one day, said, you're the president. No! <laughs> Get down in your seat. I don't know what's the matter with you, Lou. You keep staring at me. Like... Yeah. Hey, we got a film clip. Freddie keeps going like this. I thought he had a. Wait a minute. Make it feel at home, Lou. Four, four. <laughs> oh, just, just bring it. Of course. Seat! <laughs> For jumping in. Right, nice stuff there you got. When you make 60 million, you just sit in a chair and say, look at a Jewish kid killing himself. Well, they put this pillow, oh, they put this over you, make you look big, make you look oh, tall. Bless you, John. <laughs> All right, bring in another Egyptian. <laughs> All right, we got a film clip. We have a film clip of you emceeing or hosting a show called us Against the World or U.S. Right. Against the World? Us Against the World, uh, produced by Don Olmeyer, and I must say, it's an exciting show. Uh, it's well, we'll be the, the judge kids. of that. Okay. <laughs> you have to let the audience say whether it's an exciting that's show. Right, that's true. That's true. And McMahon's on, your buddy. Uh, All right. I'll okay, fine. Roll the film. Well, do you want to explain what it's about? No, who cares? You don't care. <laughs> Well, no, it's about, it's yeah. a, Us Against the World is about a group of uh, wonderful stars from the different networks, all the big names, mm. Susan Katz, Al Lipschitz, <laughs> Barry Green, Harry Marvin Farnham, yes. Lou Brock, <laughs> Saul Nicky. Oh, getting on my nerves, Lou. <laughs> now, and all the great stars. Uh, what you would know, you do if he stole your mouth? Thank <laughs> 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 you. I'd be out of business and have his own florist shop. Right. Anyway, I hope they see uh, Us Against the World. When uh, is that show? Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Bob Hope. Give me some pencils. <laughs> Wednesday night, fella. Right. Then I'm going to be in uh, Buffalo for right. the... Right. And I'll be at the State Fair in Arkansas. Frankly, heat fun. Okay. I'm bad at plugging things, but Wednesday oh, no, night... Uh, you spent 20 7. minutes plugging uh, CFO Harkey. No, CFO... <laughs> C Z. I always mix Let that up. Let me write that down. A -P Guy from Midwest a destroys Jewish comedian. A P O. I know. Oh, right. Look at this. He's got it all fixed. That's right. No. Da 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 da. Ah, shut up. You what were, is this? Name that tune. Hey, you were in the Navy, weren't you? What's that? You were. No, I was a SEAL during the war. You were. <laughs> You were in the Navy, were you Yes, not? I was in the Navy. What was your rank in the Navy? I'm serious. I was a seaman first class. That's you a... were an ensign. I remember that. That's right. And you guys used to sit in the wonderful quarters going, look at the way this seaman is breaking his kumquats. <laughs> well, I was a seaman. Look at this. The whole audience went, what's that? Kumquats. <laughs> Lou Brock went, I know what kumquats. <laughs> Lou Brock never said a thing. I <laughs> Lou didn't say anything. I oh, was no, listening. No. I didn't hear anything. Get to the that. film, will you, dummy? You see, Freddie, he's not landing planes. <laughs> right. Film. My time out, Cleveland. This is. Yeah, you want to see it again? <laughs> okay. Run the Thinking film. His line? Watch anything. Okay. can I say about wrinkles that I haven't said before? No. Best not to offend him before he comes out. Mr. Warmth, Mr. Warmth, yes. as I dubbed him some years ago, I've known Don for 17, 18, about, about 20 years, I guess, and he, as you well know, is the, the star. He told me in the hall, he said, I am the star. 
of CPA, CPO. CPO, CPO. <laughs> that just gives him something to get CPO Sharky. It's seen here, as far as we know, on NBC, Friday nights at 8.30. Yes. And on top of that, he will be opening at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas on March the 9th. Yes, well, I, I open there this Friday night, the day yes. after tomorrow, just for, for two days, Friday and Saturday. Would you welcome, who was he? Don. Don, Don Rickles. Yeah. He shot a bear and made an outfit. <laughs> thank you. How I? Fine, thank you, Don. Nice you to see you. You know what that is? That's, that's ultra suede. Oh, good. Well, how yeah. long have you had this? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to sit down. Oh, I thought it was an arthritis attack. I, I didn't always, know. I always wait for my guests oh, to sit first. sit down. Uh, there you are. Going to strap me in, or can I talk first? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Newhart on an airplane. We're up. <laughs> Hi, John. Thank How are you? Thank Thanks you. so much for the CPO Sharky plug. You're just a sweetheart. The way you make my career roll right along. <laughs> I've, I've known CPA. you now. How many years do we know each other? Well, at least 18, 19 years. Yeah, something I'm like fed that. up. <laughs> he started me in the old days in New York, in Basin Street East. We That's go back right. that far. That's right. And you hung around New York. And Ran to every club in town. Buddy Rich is your idol, I understand. Uh, well, we've made a few rounds. Yeah, you, Buddy Rich, and all those days. And Ed, you weren't there then. You, you were in Jersey with your wife saying, you want more taffy? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> how's Victoria, your lovely wife? Fine, She's you. got a lovely wife. Yeah. Eleven. Yes, she does. Eleven, isn't she? <laughs> Eleven years old. I found her yesterday in the park going, with my Eddie? Where's my Eddie? <laughs> A nice conservative Jewish yes. lovely girl. Lovely bar. Some oh, four oh, whatever. She don't like to bring up the age, but it's starting to show the neck. It's starting to hang a little bit. <laughs> Gets up in the morning with the robe on. <laughs> you gotta tell it like it is, John. Well, you're married to Joanna, but I don't, you know, you guys have had problems in life. What do you mean problems? <laughs> hey, you know, you guys have been to battle a lot of times, you know. I took one shot at the big sky, you know, and scored. Wife just laid there and went, ha, 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 ha. it's Halloween. Anyway, uh, but you didn't get married. You're what, 37, 38? What do you mean I didn't get married? I mean, you what got am married? I, a Mau Mau fighter pilot? Of well, course you, I got married. But you waited till you were 37 of or 38. Of course, I want to go through what you did, Your Honor. <laughs> Don't be nervous, guys. I'm between two guys. It's hey, but you gotta find yourself. See, you, you came out of Nebraska, you came out of Jersey. You were young, mixed up, confused. I was in heat 24 hours a day. I used to go on the highway and go, oh, I'm lonely, help me, anybody. A monkey, a dog, a rabbit, anybody, help me. I remember you back there. And yeah, you right. were chasing. singers. I always went for singers. You did. I remember the names of some. That was my you? big. No, let's not bring up. Names. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, that's you know you make a little trouble when you bring up names. Okay. Because I could bring up a couple of things about you, and you'd be in court again. You don't have. Never mind that. <laughs> I'm not. Ed's sitting there laughing, going, "Oh, I hope you don't bring up any names." <laughs> See, Johnny can handle it better than you. He acts casual here. You folks don't know this man. I tell you about the inside of both these guys. They sit out here like it's blood brothers. Blood brothers. Blood brothers. They love each other. Oh, Cochisa, suck wrist. Blood brothers. <laughs> then the show's over. See you later, Charlie. <laughs> but America thinks... I keep walking around like I'm lonely. <clears throat> but America doesn't know. These guys, when you work together, you don't see each other that much. Although I heard you went out to see Buddy Rich together. I, yes, we go out occasionally. I get, I get my... You know, you go out, you call me a few times. You said, don't tell Johnny. Uh... <laughs> Well, Johnny has two groups. You and yeah. I have the basic people. He has the A group. He's like Sinatra now. It's oh, yes. He and Joanna sit with Gregory Peck. Greg? Greg? Greg! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Frank about you, though. Sinatra likes you. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's a strange thing. Uh, you've been in Sinatra's company many times. You've asked your wife, Joanna, to say, introduce me to Frank. And uh, Frank always stood in the corner and went, oh, 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 I want to meet. 
And Frank doesn't talk like that. That's the guy behind him. <laughs> of course, he always has a lot of Italian guys around. I, I only talk about Sinatra mainly because he's been so very kind to me. You know what he did? Did you get invited to Israel? Yes. By Frank? Yes. It's on the list. <laughs> Never figured he was on the... Were you invited? Yes. Then what good is the trip? They're 500 people. <laughs> all Two of these, Gentiles all of and these, the only Jew on the all trip. Of, all of these people were invited. They were They're invited. in the audience. Every, I thought going. it was a big deal. Mm. Then Frank invited everybody. That's right. Yeah. Then forget it. Hava, Nagila, Hava. <laughs> we raise, no, no. It'll become a rally and then we'll have, have to raise ever, money. Have you ever... <laughs> You've been to Israel, haven't you? Yes. You have been to Israel. It is, it will take your breath away. It is magnificent. And understand. I went with Newhart, and you know. Oh. Bob is German Irish, a good Catholic, the best Catholic in the world, as you are a good yes. Catholic. You, Thank you trip once in a while, but <laughs> sometimes when the priest wanted to hit you with the water, he went, nah, better not. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love on Easter when you guys eat those cookies. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. No. The Almighty laughs. He has a sense he of humor. Does. Of course. I'm a Jew. I have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh. I feel like Broderick Crawford in a bad movie. You're Look at the notes once in a while. I don't find out what the no, I've Look at this. You you. A kidnap. Look at this. The man has fan mail. Dear John, I'm 11. I'm lonely. Help me. <laughs> it was a letter I was going to read earlier, and I didn't. This night, February 21st, you explain. May I read this? I have to explain what it's about because oh, it's not really not really for the series. It's crossed out here like uh, I'm locked in a cabin, find me. <laughs> <laughs> How long has your show been on now? Sharky. Is this the first season? Hey, I can't believe it. No, the second. Second season. We're rolling, you kidding? Three executives at NBC went, it's on twice? <gasps> <laughs> But I am delighted with the show. We got a great cast, uh, and I am just proud of the darn thing because the Navy, uh, I was in the Navy, you were in the Navy, you were an ensign. That's right. And you were? Colonel. Colonel. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hi, hi, Colonel. What was I? I was a seaman first class, kissing you, and you know what. <laughs> uh, seaman first class in what uh, division? What, what's your... uh, what, div what division? What division? Well, the division was uh, painting. Painting. That you know what I'm talking well, about. What were division? You... All of a sudden, it became a chemist. Were you in... What division were, were you was in... the basis of your Navy career? <laughs> were you in gunnery, communication? Gunnery? No, no, no. We, we didn't have... In those days, as you know, we didn't have radar. There was no radar. No radar. Ed, you up? Yes. <laughs> there was no radar. <laughs> no radar. You were a fighter pilot, right? Yes, sir. How did they get him in a cockpit? Are you in it? Come on, Ed! I'm in, I'm in! Battle stations, I'm in! Let me get the cockpit! Did we hit... Are we over Guadalcanal? Ed, you're fat and get out of my life. What were you in the Navy? I was a seaman first class in the Navy. I went over the side of the ship, I had a, and I had a coxswain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Navy expressions. That's right. And uh, he was a guy that uh, was in charge of the deck crew. And he went... <whistles> all hands, all hands. Put that, put that down close to me. The boom man, the one with the hearing problem. <laughs> 40 million boom men, we got to get Johnny Ray's uncle. <laughs> no, come, come here. <laughs> all hands, all hands. All hands are going to run and the whole crew went, what? what? <laughs> You're hot. Run it all. We'll be right back. Talking with Donald Rickles. Ah, uh, we kid around. You know, we, yeah. we, we, you know what? I'm, I don't know why I, I, I get very. I said to Shirley Wood, uh, one of your staff, and who's been with you for years, yeah. and you went, we go back to Rockville Center, New York, when I used to come on and just perspire for the sake of perspiring. You know, okay. malaria was forget about it, a disease that I had automatically, and I realize now that we know each other 14 years yeah, or at more least, at least, and you started me on this show. And Flip Wilson's the only other guy that I ever said started on the Carson show, you know, and you hate to get like, uh, thank you, Johnny, thank you. You know, I've thanked you many times, you know. Oh, boy, did I thank you. <laughs> but you were always a great guy. You always kept saying, did you thank me? <laughs> and, uh, and Ed always 
Right. Good old Ed always backed it up by saying, did you think, Johnny? <laughs> and uh, my whole life has been thank you. And now I tell you guys, I don't need you. <laughs> you, you got it. Got your own That's the old joke, you don't need it. But I got news, you, you need everybody in this business, but you have signed a $3 million deal to appear here once no, a no, week. No, no, what do you, no. And, uh, <laughs> with a clause in, if you're moody, maybe. Because <laughs> Ed told me that, he said, what a deal he's got, huh? <laughs> I got to sit on a couch like a moron, and I was a colonel. <laughs> I was only an ensign. Yeah, yeah. Boy, if World War II would start again, he'd start salute me and uh, do that old trick again. You know, shining the old apple, you know. Tell you... what you told me, Ed, how you're fed up you want to get your own show. <laughs> Guy wants to walk out. Speak up, Ed. Let him know it here and now. We are fed up, right, Ed? <laughs> right, right, Don. Ed, control yourself. <laughs> it's a joke, Johnny. Let's get up and do our usual thing, Johnny. <laughs> no, hey, we'll did, you, you did you serve aboard ship? When you were in the service? Yeah, I was on the AGP-13. We did two knots an hour. The Japanese at that time came in and went, Oh, look at that! <laughs> and all of us went, To your gun stations! And we went, The other way! <laughs> no, I, I, uh, being, being... <laughs> did you... <laughs> did you rise in a rank in this? You went in as a seaman. Trying to see what are you with the CIA? I just am I up on some sort I've of charges? I've never talked to you. No, about you never your, did. You like, all right, let's get down. But may I ask you in rebuttal yes. what you did? Okay, I'll tell you. First of all, I went to Sampson, New York. Where were you stationed? All of them. Cherry yeah. Point, North Carolina. So was Manure, but that don't make it a station. <laughs> what do you want? We told over. Why, the, the Charlie Hero? Hero we got base. Our How many bases? Da, 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 da. He's home, folks. Welcome. <laughs> Doing. He was an ensign going, I wet my pants. <laughs> and I was a seaman first place going, I don't like fighting. And those other guys went, over here. <laughs> and Japanese, you are my dear friends, really. Oh, <laughs> I got how, many, how many do you know? Huh? Well, how many Japanese do you know? I, I never knew. I saw one prisoner at the time of the war. And there are now our dear friends. In fact, I love them so much, my kid has all their toys. I didn't know. But, uh, Don leading host, one nothing. That's right. <laughs> but uh, really, I, I, I tell you, I was frightened to death, but it was a great experience. You have two kids, two fine sons, three. <laughs> was that in a trailer camp? That was it. Uh, how many kids you have? I have four. <laughs> yes. They're going to phone you in the morning. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I have two. Yes. And I have one in the Philippines. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Hey, the war was on. I was lonely oh, really? after a truck. What did I know? You want candy? Like a dummy, I stopped. But, uh... I think my original question was, did you, did you arise above seaman first class? His original question, right. Yeah. No, I never went beyond seaman first class. Uh, primarily because I wasn't bright enough. I put myself down a little bit because I, uh, respecting New Heart and you, and you, college, I never went to college. I always dreamed. Well, I didn't mean to bring, I wasn't no, you down yeah, by you, saying. No, you didn't bring me down. I'm saying it myself. I mean, I need help, doctor. But uh, I always respected education. I really did. I came up uh, without, with, from middle class America, without having too much of education. In other words, I was the only guy during the regents in high school that was caught doing this. And the teacher said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm cheating. And uh, the teacher, who was a lot of fun then, had little boils on the neck, one of those teachers, and went, and went <laughs> had a beer and said, you're thrown out of the class. And I was, blew it. And I went back, to, I went to Newtown High School, and I was the head of the Dramatic Society. And there's a lot of uh, fallacy about actors, you know, that we skip around, you know. You know, the stories, when we were kids, as an actor, mm -hmm. in Nebraska, they didn't have those. You never saw a guy, you know, skip in the woods in Nebraska. Oh, you did, huh? I can't picture that. <laughs> Sam, where's the tractor? <laughs> but, uh... Uh, I didn't know. I thought they were too busy milking all the time. Uh, uh. But, uh, in, uh... You're a colonel. Wake up, huh? <laughs> Battle stations. Ooga, ooga, ooga. I know you. You were saying, I'll be with you in a minute, Alice. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> well, he was married once. You gay okay, guys don't face reality. I'm married to a lovely Barbara, really. I'm gonna go home tonight. She'll probably be in heat. They're always in heat when you are not ready. Isn't it the truth? I can see in a high pussy cat, and I gotta go by the bed and go, meow, meow. Are you still doing that ridiculous game? 
Yeah, one night I was a werewolf, but that got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I know yeah. where it is. Okay. <laughs> Cheer up. Go ahead. Read the commercial right. and think of the six million on you. We'll be right back. How about so that? rich. You're so rich. <laughs> Friends, it is time once again. Miss Mr. Lovable is here. He'll be appearing for two weeks at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas starting tomorrow night, which happens to be October the 15th, if you're watching this next Tuesday. <laughs> Will you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Thank you, muchachos. Sayé, comadre, sayé, no me que haces. Which means the border patrol will be at your house Friday. Anyway, that was the that longest. Off to a big shot. That was the longest. Up, that's the longest milking of applause I have ever seen in my life. Standing out there, what is what is it? Bowing and bowing. I about? don't have twenty-seven billion dollars. <laughs> Went up, huh? <laughs> yeah. I need everything I can get. I'm not like you and Newhart standing on the highway going, God, no more money. No more money. Please. <laughs> See, Ed McMahon has money and you have money, but he has a little more payments. <laughs> As he kept sitting there saying to Victoria on the yacht, Not a bottle of champagne. Oh! <laughs> you don't do that anymore. That's right. <laughs> anyway, uh, then neither do you. Believe me, darling, and you said you're not married. I was 38 before I was married. Uh -huh. Searching, hunting, bears, rabbits, anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Setting traps in the forest, oh. anything. <laughs> and I want you to know I love my wife, but she is ill. Oh. <laughs> well. And we could work something out. See? I look at you real close, and you're not a bad-looking woman. <laughs> you're a lovely woman, and you're a talented woman. I want to be with you so bad. <laughs> If my wife's listening and it's a joke, because I could wind up like these two guys going... Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you got that right. That's why I need billions and billions of dollars. Johnny said, that's why I need billions I of dollars. I didn't say anything. A, which was a clever remark. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen you not here for a while, but I've seen you since you were on the show. Oh, we, thank you. We, I thought I died. We did have... Uh, no, we did. We had a wonderful summer together. We really saw a lot of each other. We saw a lot of Freddie. Saw a lot of you and your wife, Alex, your new bride. Where did I see you this summer? Huh? Well, she was drowning, and you kept saying, further out. <laughs> no, we, we saw each other at your home. What do you mean, where well, did I mean, we see each other? But I thought you meant overseas. I'm not senile. I know what's going on. What do you mean, where did we see each other? Oh, I, just... I mean, these were all these people when Rickles is gone. It's over. <laughs> he never saw him. He made it up. I, I, I saw Ed, but you didn't see me. Uh, but, uh, no, nah, that's a joke. He's a big guy. He's got a sailboat, and he drinks on it, and it sinks as soon as he takes one drink. <laughs> Boom, right there. How's your sailboat? Very good. I'm glad to hear it. But, uh, it's a powerboat. It's a powerboat. It's a powerboat? It's a powerboat. Well, he keeps telling everybody it's a sailboat. Have you been on it? No, no. Have you been over to the boat at all for any kind of social function? No, I have not been invited on the boat. Why? Well, hmm. Bad moves, sweetheart. Start making moves. <laughs> look at his hair. No, he, look at his age. Start doing. He has. I have. No, he hasn't. He hasn't invited me to the boat. He hasn't invited you. He hasn't boat. invited me to the boat. He hasn't. But you turned him down, like you do with a lot of people. You're not an easy guest to have. Alex is charming. She Thank says, you. Johnny, since you married her, your whole life has changed. You show up at everything. 
I don't go. And yes, you do. You show up for her. You came to our party. You've been with Ed. You've been with Barb Newhart when we had a party. Well, and I... you've been with... And then we saw you at the Jerry Weintraub party. That's and, true. And, and you said, come over to my table, and you were alone saying, I killed a fly. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was great. I mean, with all your success, you're a lonely, gentile, wonder-bred man from Nebraska. <laughs> I see. I begged you. Uh -huh. The Holy Father was here in town and he was marvelous. He just sat there and I said to Newhart, who's a devout Catholic, and the Holy Father just sat there and went... <laughs> and Bob said, why is he doing that? He said, he's concentrating on the Jewish people. <laughs> and that means he's going to help us. <laughs> but I don't know what's going to happen. We laugh about... we got to laugh about people that are important. We oh, laugh yes, about we Reagan. Do. Reagan, oh, Reagan yeah. is a great president. That's true. He told me that when he heard me. Yeah. And I swear, I, mean, I was in the White House. You've never been to the White House. I heard that. What do you mean I haven't been to the White House? Just what... What do you mean I've never been to the White House? Pass it! I've never been to the White House. Pass it! Of course I've been to the White House. When? What Look how mean? quick he is. Look how quick. <laughs> now, what wouldn't know when they were at the White House. Look how long it took him, and he gets $60 million a year and doesn't know what the Pope does. <laughs> when were you at the White House? I was at the White House in 1980. And, uh, and, and uh, that's when Jimmy was president. No, who was president then, 1980? Well, uh, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan was president. Ronald Reagan was president. Yes. Did you spend an evening with him? Well, no, not alone. What is wrong with you tonight? I never, I never saw you like this, fumbling and well, spinning you all have, over yourself. You've never... You're a major star. You can walk away from this. Jay Leno and, and Gary Shandling are in the back one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're funny. <laughs> Those young guys. Okay. <laughs> now, why don't you just calm Give me a minute. Just, I'm starting to enjoy just, myself. Just calm down now. Okay. Now, the only time I've seen you on television since I've seen you is you're, you seem to be lying on a floor with your head sticking out. <laughs> and I said, uh, and Alex, Alex turned to me one night and says, isn't that, Don? I says, Rickles would not lower himself to sticking his face up through some, some carpet. And I looked again, and you, you certainly did. Enzo Five. White clean carpet. Oh, what, the, the never non mind the commercial. No, I must tell you, I did that. I stick my head through that carpet because I need money to take you and your wife out. I need the money. <laughs> did you get a lot of money for that? Big buck? Did I get a lot of money? Yeah, did you get Did you ever hang out with Freddie and Ed for crying out loud? They, go to, they don't order food. You say, what do you want to eat? <laughs> Buckets. Madeline, you're too excitable. Anyway, I've got to tell you this. The God's truth is that you do this for money, and I well, do this. For you do it's a it, great, it's a great carpet commercial. It really uh, is. I love the carpet. I get up every morning. I say to my wife, "Good morning," and we both go, "Ah, what carpet?" And then the dog shows up, and we back off. But uh, no, it is great. It's a great to do commercials. You don't do commercials. You don't have to. You're, you're set. You know what I mean? You just sit there in the chair. <laughs> Because you know, you know darn well, after you pay off your kids, after you pay off Alex, after you pay oh. off the world, oh, eventually you're going to get moody and tell her to take a car. <laughs> he, he, even then, <laughs> even then, I will not stick my face up through a carpet. <laughs> I don't care. I got to preface one thing. If Alex is listening, we love her, and we make jokes about it. Oh, yeah. She is the most charming lady, really. Since Johnny's married to her, I've seen a big difference in Johnny. He's been so wonderful, he keeps saying, I believe it's your check. Uh, but he, he, you really, you really, I'm, I'm happy for you, well, and I'm, I'm happy for you and Alex. Well, I'm happy for you, and, and I'm happy for you and Bob. We're all happy. We're all happy. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. And I'm happy that you're I'm happy, happy that we're you're all happy. happy. Okay. Ed's the only one sitting on the hand guard. Is it my turn? Okay. Do we have to take Ed, a break? Do this to relax yourself. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tomorrow night, anyway, you open it. Uh, I'm going to mention that again. Well, we don't know. According to the ball game, I don't know when I open. <laughs> you gave such a description, I don't even know if I'm here next Wednesday. <laughs> if this is Thursday, if you this people are watching this, and this is Wednesday, you're at the hotel now. That's right. Doing a great job keeping your name alive. That's right. <laughs> and Freddie DeCovered at the cover of the cover. The kitty. The kitty. We'll be right back. Janet, after this I love message. you. <laughs> Oh, 
now we have another problem. Folks. Now I understand. Before we say good night, you said your mother, Madeline, is going to be disappointed because if this show's not seen tonight, she's staying up waiting for it, right? Yes, and it won't be easy for her to wait up. Will I? All right, so... Um, Any number of people will be waiting. All right, so she'll wait at 11.30. On, so where, do, where does she live? Out here. All right, so if 11.30 we're not on, uh, to tomorrow sleep. night. Yeah. Your daughter will How old a woman is she? Uh, should I... Uh, yeah, you can she's tell. She's 63. Well, anyway, uh... <laughs> That'll put her to sleep. She can handle that. Anyway, we hope that she's cute. I'm sure she is. Johnny, you want to meet another woman? Well, no, thank you. Anyway, uh... Uh, we hope we're seen tonight. We just went. You open uh, tomorrow night, which is October the 14th. Actually, it, providing Ozzy Smith doesn't slide and the Giants and Jeffrey Leonard comes up and says, "I want to hit a home run. I want to hit a home run." <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen, anyway. and you don't really care because your your career is alive. You'll be and there. she and I are destroyed with this whole show. You'll be there for uh, you'll be there for two weeks anyway. Two right? weeks, unless you hear something. Up the Golden Nugget. At the Golden Nugget, right? Okay. One of the great hotels downtown, where Steve Wynn is walking around going, "I know Donald Trump." <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's an inside joke, but don't worry well, I'll, about it. I'll look for your face on television. Fine, I will, too. <laughs> uh, so you don't like George? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't... Somebody died up yes. there? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Madeline. Tomorrow night, we have Tim Conway will be here, comedian Kevin and Kevin, Kevin Rooney. Take your time. Don't be nervous. Thank it's you. your show. And from Amen, Jester Harrison. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. We'll see you tomorrow. He drinks. He drinks. Next on Late Night with David Letterman, David welcome Jack Hanna of the Columbus Zoo and comedian Elaine Beaver. Then start the day with NBC News at sunrise. And tomorrow morning, wake up with today. Okay, we're back. Before, we should uh, mention yeah, sure. that you have a very uh, interesting show coming on Sunday. All the comedians that made yeah. their first start on The Tonight we're Show. Doing, I'm doing a special on NBC this Sunday night from 10 to 11 called The Tonight Show Comedians. And that's exactly what it is. It's a show featuring a lot of the performers who either made their very first appearance on The Tonight Show or, or whose career is kind of tied to The Tonight Show from their appearances. Uh, we've got Rodney Dangerfield, uh, clips of Rodney and George Carlin, and then working with me live uh, are going to be uh, Steve Martin, Bill Cosby, Joan Rivers. Mm. Um, that's this Sunday night at uh, 10 o'clock, I guess, around the country. I think you'll find it uh, a lot of fun. Okay, here is my first guest, our new ambassador to the UN. <laughs> Known for his warmth, Don's going to be appearing for a week at Harrow's in Reno, November the 29th, and Resorts International, December the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Will you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Okay, that's about it. <laughs> oh. Hi, gobble gobble and all that. You know. I was home stuffing a pilgrim. <laughs> but uh, I look forward to Thanksgiving. Hey, really? Yeah, it's a great Jewish holiday. <laughs> and, uh, pilgrims were all Jews. They came out of Maine. A little payas and little turkeys under their arm. I didn't anyway, know that. pardon me? I didn't know that. You don't know a lot of things. That's true. Uh, how do you feel, Ed? Fine, Don, thank Good. you. The other night was so great when yeah, we when grew out with yeah, Victoria, Barbara, and I. Yeah, God. Barbara. His name came up, what, once? Twice. Yeah. <laughs> One time was about him quitting, and you said, who cares? <laughs> and uh, the other time was about you sitting there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Ed has uh, eyes on the old chair, does he? Well, you know, yeah. he says he's going to quit. That's He makes that speech all the time yeah. in his contract that, you know, when you go, he goes, you know. That's right. Don't count on it. <laughs> Off a bit a hundred times, you get hit by a bus, uh, he won't pick it up to let you lay there. Uh, he's got too many things going anyway. Yeah, he's That's a big true. star, and I'm happy for him. Star search, uh, uh, hit the dong, win a cookie, uh, <laughs> how's your mother, long live Ireland, a parade, and two monkeys in heat on a rock, whatever it is. But he's got it all covered. Hi, guys in the band, haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Good. The shipment will be in Friday. How are you feeling? Great. You look good. I, I look just, good. Uh, well, it's not I just, it's uh, last, uh, the end of August. We went on a trip and we did the, uh, my wife and I, for the first time. You going to say something? No. Oh, you, you always do? <laughs> you got a rod, maybe we can reel him in. <laughs> I mean, I was, that's a sign of age when you start to go, hey, hey, oh. 
I forgot I wanted to say something. But, uh, we went on a trip. <laughs> I, I don't lie. You're old. Uh, Ed, we went on a trip, John, and we That's visited. I, I told uh, the wife and I, uh, uh, 20 years of marriage in March, and it's our first time we went on a trip alone. We said we're definitely going to go alone. And because you've never traveled with Barbara any place, just by the two of you? You've met Barbara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, would you like to be in a bedroom with her just laying there going, Okay, it's your turn. Uh, no, she's a lovely wife. She really is. I, I, I say this publicly. I married a Valium. Uh, on the wedding night, I had to do, come on, come on. Uh, gee, that wasn't worth the joke. I hurt myself. <laughs> but, uh, where did you go on this trip? That was good. Thank what you. Did you say, where did you go on the trip? Well, we went to uh, where you've been, to the south of France. Ed, have you ever been to the yes, south? I yes, have. you've been all over. That's a dumb question to ask you. I mean, you're like a barge. They put a flag on your can. You'll go any place. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I laugh at this show. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. We, we went to the, to the south of France. I have to do a commercial. Oh, fine. Any, anything to keep you going. <laughs> but your payments do a lot of them. Anyway, you got that right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right back after this. So the... old. Yeah, old. Oh. We are back. Look, we just... We just had you embarking on this trip to the south of France. Yes, first time. So we went to La Reserve, and uh, we took a ship called the Sea Goddess, which, by the way, is great sailing. It's a new kind of a... It's like, uh, well, it's like a yacht, you know, with uh, uh, 60 cabins and 100 passengers, all well-to-do people. You, yeah. you, you'd be a little uncomfortable because they would recognize you, and you know how you are with your body and the whole thing with the shorts on and yeah. so forth. Uh, <laughs> no, he is. He's very, you know, he's, he's very barbell happy. He's the type of guy that goes, <laughs> you see it dancing? Anyway, uh, but th this ship we went on, and we got to La Reserve, and we checked in very nice, and uh, the phone rings, and it's a man that I know you look up to. Well, certainly Ed and I do. You're a little shaky about it. Uh, Frank Sinatra, who is one of the great stars of our time. Mm -hmm. And we say this because uh, he has Ed's sister and my aunt in custody. <laughs> uh, no, that's a joke. If Frank's listening, buonasera, buonasera, buonasera. Uh, but we had a marvelous time. We, right. And he was at the Hotel de Paris, which you know well. And he had a beautiful suite. He had the entire building. And uh, every day we went over and spent time with him. And the one thing I remember, you know, the French, they, the paparazzi, like, if you, do they recognize you when you go over there? Some of them. Who? <laughs> Jacques Bidou. Jacques Bidou? Jacques Bidou. Look that up. I want you to check that out. Jacques Bidou, I happen to know, was in La Cage de Faux and is still not sure what he is. Now, I want Jacques Bidou, my burgers, Jacques Bidou. They don't know you over there. Why don't you be a man about it? You and Newhart, you lie. I hate that. Nobody knows you. They only know Frank. And I'm going to see to it that you get hurt. Now, not you, Ed, because this is going to be your desk. Now... And then we, well, Sinatra was marvelous. Needless to say, we went over there and people. Uh, Do you uh, speak French? Pardon me? Was that a, t was that a tough one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak French? Of course. Any, any Jew from Brooklyn speaks French. <laughs> I get up in the morning, I say to wife, Je ne m'en pas de She said, No donuts. <laughs> now, of course they don't speak okay. French. I got enough trouble in the neighborhood trying to let them know who I am. Right. Don't steam me. You're getting Good. on my nerves. Right. You can't. When I met you, you were just out of Nebraska saying, Get me a monkey, anybody, help me. A monkey? Well, sure. <laughs> Women were out of the question. <laughs> now, <laughs> look, what, look at your track record with girls. Forget about it. I mean, I don't want to throw that up. The public doesn't have to know. What? You let them know. I mean, uh, Ed, you've been married once. I've been married just once. Yeah. No, you've been married twice. twice. Ah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Well, why get into that? Why get it? Sure. But we go back a lot of years, so I can take yeah, those questions. But uh, yeah. getting back to Frank, so I was with Sinatra five days and five nights. Frank was great. Every night, little, bo you know, little booze. We used to drink. You don't drink anymore. Not much. No. Yeah, and look what it's done to you. Uh, <laughs> you were laughs when you drank in New York when you saw me at the Copa. <laughs> Now you sit out at the beach and say, is the lawyer on the phone? <laughs> now, you see, you, you gotta be like Ed. He drinks, but nobody knows about it. <laughs> anyway, uh... 
<laughs> You're going to get a call from Victoria yes, saying, yes. why is he saying that? No, we all drink with moderation. Yes, yes. But that's at the point. Frank still drinks pretty good, you know. Yeah. Little grappa, you know what grappa is. Sure. What is it? It was a little Italian wine. What? Big wine. Hey, it's not an open forum. <laughs> Let the man that gets 60 million a week figure out the answer. Gone up over the years. It used to be 40 dollars. No, Grappa... Well, did anything exciting happen in the vacation? Yes, on the... Uh, well... Never mind the knave-dropping. Let's get on with the... Well, hey, being with Sinatra to me is exciting. It's exciting for you, isn't it? Sure. Being with you would be like a slow-up. Uh -huh. uh, no, being with you would be fun, sure. but in a different way, John. I mean, right. you're low-key. You don't like to, you know. That's right. Frank likes to sit around by the cabana with a lot of Italian guys and the priest. And, you know, and look around, and if somebody is swimming towards the cabana, he goes, shoot him. Uh, so we have a different relationship, you know. You like to sit there and explain to some 19-year-old that the graying is from an illness. Uh, <laughs> A, uh, a, a problem you will never have. <laughs> you gotta get... One for Nebraska. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nebraska leading the Jew, one nothing going into the last game. But it really, and you know, and then we went to Saint Tropez on the Sea Goddess oh. with Harvey Silver. I don't know if you know Harvey. Yes, a wonderful I do. guy. And Jerry Vale was singing on the ship, and it almost sunk. Uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, Bob Newhart didn't want to go along, you know, it was too much money. I thought you went along with Bar alone with Barbara. Yeah, I did, but Jerry Vale was on the ship singing. Oh, I see, and then Newhart was, uh, huh? Newhart was there too? No, no, Newhart was on the dock going, I can't afford it! Uh, he's a multimillionaire, you, you know, he's starting to catch up to you. Anyway, uh, by the way, that's where I'm going to spend Thanksgiving, with Bob Newhart uh, and his family. Wow, a party nice. of about 40, and uh, it's going to be catered. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be nice. You were on the list, but we voted, and oh, down. <laughs> we figured you you prefer chicken. Uh, and there's not a bit of Jewish blood in you. I don't know why you'd want chicken, but anyway. But it was marvelous. You know, we went to the Hotel de Cop. Oh, where that's you beautiful. Were. That's beautiful. It is a beautiful hotel, and uh, it's about seven miles to the tennis courts. You know, and it was very reserved. You know, a lot of Ed Thompsons with the you know big boil on the neck. I believe, Mary, it's your serve. <laughs> You know, and there was one Jew that came down and said, I, I, did anybody see a ball? <laughs> anyway, uh, and two Italian guys in the cabanas going. <laughs> and one black guy going, I'm playing tennis. <laughs> anyway, they were all there. They were all there. Goodness. <laughs> all what at the a, hotel. The what a lucky break for you. <laughs> <laughs> at our place, there was none of that. That's right. But I, I must tell you, Sinatra, we, we talked about the night uh, when I was with him with these five days. We talked about the night when he hosted the show and the night when he was a guest, Ever. if you remember that. And uh, he had a lot of fun. Because yeah. uh, Frank, is, uh, as you know, and I know, he's, and certainly Ed knows too, that he's the kind of guy that, to be with him, you know, it's the last of a, of a great uh, uh, kind of world, you know. And to be with him, you, you see the other side of him, you know. Yeah. When he got my wife against the wall and kept, <clears throat> you know, I said, go, Frank, go, go. It's him. Punch the hell out of it. He was great. We, oh, put, don't, don't ever do this. Never do this when you're talking about Sinatra. It could bend us. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay. And now, here's a beautiful lady. A beautiful lady, a fine actress. Uh, Angie starring in a television movie called A Touch of Scandal which airs on Tuesday night, November 27th, on another network, as they say. Would you welcome Miss Angie Dickinson? You're wearing the thing they used to put across pianos. Remember those? 
I mean, it's, uh, I wish Your it was my piano, piano yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How are yes, you? Yes, it is, isn't it? Well, it seemed kind of nice to bring out a thing. I'm fine. Well, don't you look stunning tonight? I hope so. Yeah. You know each other well, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> you do? Now, our, our babies well, were born the same time. And we mentioned, uh, you mentioned Frank Sinatra, and when we were all on the same show together. I'm going to no, don't go ahead. No, that's you. right, Angie. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's new in your life? <laughs> Anything exciting? But I haven't seen. I don't see you much anymore. I know. It's uh, fine. Everything's real good. <laughs> I've been working and not working and yeah. everything. What were you doing in New York? I was uh, presenting an Emmy to the winner of the International Emmys, which I didn't know existed. They have... Uh, What's the International Emmys? Um, oh, Emmy of, of their various nations. Emmys of... Um, of See how um, I jump on that? Yeah, TVs right <laughs> in other countries other than what's shown in America. And well, it was sure fascinating. they have television in other countries, sure. But I didn't know that we gave the Emmy here for it. Yeah. So it was very interesting to see the work they do in f yeah. England for, was especially Didn't you show amazing. the police, uh, police woman seen on how many countries now? 42 countries is the last Did you ever see it in another time. language? I've never seen it in another language. Yeah. I, that Dinah came, Dinah Shore came back from Japan. She saw it in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I kind of have to get reacquainted with you. I yes. seen you for a while. I know. I haven't seen you. You've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here most every night. <laughs> How do you spend your nights? What do you, what do, you do? You got anything cooking? Uh, any, any, anything special? I mean, you're going with or seeing or I go to having an affair with or <laughs> yes. just trying to loosen you up a little bit here. I'm I'm loose. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> I'm fine. I love movies. I love dinner parties. I love you. Well, you mean that in a... Isn't he a sweetheart? In a platonic relationship, you Oh, mean. all right. I mean, not a deep... <laughs> she giveth and she taketh away. I mean, <laughs> but, you, but everybody knows I love you, and that's nice. Well, when and you say love, now, what do you mean? I mean... I mean, you have an affection for me. I have more than an affection for you. I love you, and I like you a lot. Wow. <laughs> you asked, so I have to tell you the truth. Yeah. Instead of sitting here telling you what I'm doing nights. Yeah. You mean if I... Well, we've known each other for so long, and sometimes I feel like, not brother and sister, but... Um, do you know what I mean? We've known each other too long is the problem. Is that the problem? Yes. Mm -hmm. You mean it's, everything is kind of, if there had been anything, it would just cool because of the, the length of the, uh, of the, of the, uh, <laughs> the duration of the uh, friendship? Is that what you're, <laughs> you got a special man in your life now? <laughs> Come on now, let's, no. let's, really? Mm-hmm. Do you like being... By yourself most of the time? Well, I didn't say I was by myself. That's true, you didn't. Well, you're not with the same with chargers or anything like that or anything. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm fine. Everything's cool, but I just warn you. Yeah, okay. What's Touch a Scandal about? It's about a um a poli I'm a politician and I'm running for a very high office, and I'm a woman. Right. And uh, so <laughs> So it's rather uh, timely with Geraldine Ferraro having run. Right. I'm not running for that high an office, but I'm uh, uh, running for Attorney General of California. And it, it becomes a problem when my uh, male prostitute lover is found dead in my hallway. That, that, that really can... That can really screw up a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you, obviously you have a ready explanation for this. I mean, well, that's the intrigue. You see, it's actually a thriller. It isn't about politics, although you know that's what I have to continue to do during the film, and uh, worry whether or not they're going to find out that I knew him more than uh. what they think, and uh, why my husband uh, uh, doesn't make love to me, and all those kinds of things. 
Yeah. So it's a thriller. They're laughing over well, here. Well, he's, he's grinning at me because of the way I'm looking he's at being, you. You're being so well behaved with me tonight. It threw me. Well, I think I'm a... <laughs> well, when I'm in your company, I'm at a clinic. <laughs> No, you're so beautiful, and uh, I love my wife, but she is ill. <laughs> you, you're looking for a mercy date, is this what you're saying? No, Angie's gorgeous, and she has a great sex and charm, which you know and I know. Ed knows, because his leg keeps going. <laughs> well, She's anyway. a darling lady, she really is. And, and a grown daughter, which is lovely, too. Yeah, and a pretty gal, too. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you know yourself that you were a... I didn't expect you to ask me what I'm doing nights and if I'm alone and everything and I just thought it would be intriguing to find out. I think it's kind of nosy. <laughs> well, she's, she's I'm sure she's very active in her social life. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean the bed and things like that. You don't mean an acrobat or anything. No, like no, that. no, no, nothing on a high wire with a canary, nothing right. like that, you know. Uh, and I know you're very, very, you, you date constantly. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the heck with it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, oh. It's always good to see you, though. Yeah, you too. Yeah. We're going to do a little, uh, what is that, Fred? What, is, what does that mean? Well, it's, it's a, whatever you want to do, sir. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> used to talk to Bunzo the same way. <laughs> With the same results. <laughs> With the same results. Cute. <laughs> Bunzo's dead, you know. Uh, uh, except with my story. Yes. <laughs> okay, boys, hold that up, huh? <laughs> Did you See know Mr. De Cordova directed, directed Bedtime for Bonzo? Yes, you know, I, I met Freddie. The first time I ever met Freddie, he directed me with a ja on a Jack Benny show. At least I think that was the first time. First time we talked about. Uh -huh. That's the first yes, time I met right. Freddie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Jack Benny. Show. I met Freddie. <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come right back and try to get some kind of sense out of this. <laughs> well, folks, a little clock on the wall. Oh me. You said you're you're going to can you're reading a script. You may go to Canada and make a picture. Montreal. Yeah. For NBC, but I haven't read it. It just came this afternoon. There's a beautiful city up there. It is. I did another movie there. It's wonderful. Yeah. I hope you'll come back soon. I hope back, so. Maybe later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. They never know whether I'm kidding or serious. Right? Yeah. You know that. You That's know. strange. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming. It's always, always nice to see you and re renew old friendships. <laughs> and, uh, Don, you're headed for uh, oblivion. To Angie's I think. house. Yes, Angie's house. <laughs> no, Don is going to, uh, you're going to Siege is where he's going. No. He's going to Harris in Reno, November the 29th, and then the Resort International in Atlantic City, isn't it? Yes, and then I'm coming back here to give you a shock treatment. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, it's nice to have you here. Nice to be back, John. I know and happy Thanksgiving to you and your big party that you're going to have. Thank you. <laughs> Children are watching, may want to hustle the kids into bed now. Uh, my first guest, you all know, uh, Rickles and I have known each other, I've, what, over 30 years. Don is going to be appearing at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, April 9th through the 13th, and at Bally's in Atlantic City, the 23rd and the 24th. Short date. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Yeah! Okay, it's not a Jewish holiday. We can sit. <laughs> okay, you want to go to the beach? Sure. What a night. God, John, it's so good to see you. Usually you say good evening, but I guess tonight you're a little well, I was gonna uptight because you. you're working with a name. <laughs> but, uh, 
It's so good, and God bless Ed. I've heard so much. Let's hope this sticks. (laughs) Thank you, Don. Ed, I'm running out of gifts. Thank you, Don. Newhart and I, we keep running over going, does he love her? Does he love her? And usually you're back in the chapel going, hey, what time's the wedding? <laughs> did he, did he, did you know before he did this that he was out? No, I read it in the paper in Iowa. Uh, You've never been in Iowa in your life. You can bet your... <laughs> no, I've never been in Iowa, but I read about it. You, didn't, you usually call us and tell us. You don't tell him because he gets a breakdown. But uh, you, uh, you, you have been a guy that's traveled a lot and have gone through a great deal in life. And I wish you and your wife a lot of happiness. I Thanks. figure a week, tops. <laughs> tops. You have no problem because you get moody and just walk away. No, I don't. Anyway, uh, no, I, I saw your lovely wife, Alex, in Pittsburgh. That's, I was in she Pittsburgh. told me you were back to You see, you talk about marriage. There's a guy in your band. Just, how long have you had that? Well, I just started... Get on the Jerry Lewis telethon. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> she said you were back... Let me get something. Let me get something. Well, jump in. You're the host. You're acting so secure since you're leaving, for crying out loud. And the other guy's at home working on his chin. Look at this. (laughs) My, uh... My wife... You like that, eh? Yeah, I like that. That little Nazi personality. That's right. Cruelty is my yeah, second that's name. It, that's it. Alex told me you were back in Pittsburgh. She was back there because she was born there. Her folks lived there. She goes back occasionally. Said you were back there filming a picture. Yes. We wow. did. We did a... What do you mean? Wow. This, what this what is it? It's not a cartoon. It's a major movie. Well, the last thing you made was Beach Black at Bingo. That's it? right. The last thing you did was uh, sit in well, the Slate Brothers well, of years well, ago and go, Get me anything! Anybody! Didn't have anything there, That's huh? right. Okay. We were all in heat in those days. By the way, Snooky is married 53 years. Snooky oh, Young yeah. in your band. And that's why we can learn from that guy. 53 years right. married to this wonderful woman who, at your band, Snooky Young. I didn't know that. 53 years. And the coincidence is, yes. his lovely daughter, Judy, is our secretary. Did I stun you? No. I... I mean, she's a black girl. She don't sit in the house going, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> She works once in a while and does a spiritual to relax. All right, now speaking of marriage, you're you, you're kidding it. You kid me about my. You well, been I mar- always kid you. I'm married 27 years. Why do you keep opening well, your you- mouth like that? I think, I think I'm working with a Norwegian uh, g- guy on a tuna hunt for crying out loud. What a tuna hunt? A tuna hunt. Okay. Yes, I'm married I'll, I'll 27 buy. years. And everything's uh, good. Good at home. Well. <laughs> No, no, no. no, it's great. She, I got a Jewish wife, just lays in bed and goes, is that about it? Uh, you don't have that problem. You know, you guys, you marry Gentile girls. You know, I got a Jewish wife, wears the jewelry and signals ships. <laughs> See, you guys don't have that well, problem. You give them true. a can of beer, they lay in the bed and go... What? I was going to talk to you when you were back in Pittsburgh because I picked up the paper one day and it showed the ten best dressed men in the United States, or the ten in the world. And the tailors or the fashion people voted you as one of the ten best dressed people. That is correct. With, with this body. I mean, how... <laughs> how could you... How, how'd you get on that list? Don't turn on me. I'm, uh, <laughs> Don't turn on me. That, it's not is, advisable. Is that true? The ten best? Well, that's what they say. Well, Look at Ed. <laughs> Emmett Kelly dresses better than him. <laughs> no, you Emmett dress, Kelly you dress nice, but you, you, you don't know about clothes. You're from Nebraska. What are you you talking have eight about? guys say, that looks good, Johnny. You go, honest to God. <laughs> you don't know about clothes. If they lift it up to you, you wear those checkered shirts with the king over the years going, let's get some deer. <laughs> let's get some deer. Let's get some deer. Did you see Deer Hunter? I saw. That's I the saw. way Pittsburgh uh, was. I know where that, your no, wife comes no, from. No, no, Never it. touch no, the shirt. No, what is that on the shirt? Show, show $7,000. Shirt. Look at all you got little. You got That's little right. In case I, dry, in, I want the paramedics to know who it is. You got little embroidered initials on your shirt. That's right. Well, what do you have? You have those phony seersucker shirts here. I don't know what that like. <laughs> and you wear cufflinks. Oh no, I don't wear buttons. cufflinks. I thought. Well, I saw you at an affair when you had diamond cufflinks. Just a minute, I want to say. Try to work yourself up. She could be tonight. You know. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's, start, he's starting to relax, and then you'll have a can of beer, and you'll, you'll just later go, Did we do it, honey? 
You got to keep alert. I want this All to right, no, okay. I don't want this to miss. You know no. I love you. You All know right, that. Okay. Means a lot to me. Now you look, we're going to we're going to end this, you know, in May. Now are you going to miss coming here? Be You're like, leaving in May? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's right. You're you, going? You know that. Oh, well, I do. And I'm, I'm going to be very depressed for about two minutes. Uh, hey, I want to tell you, and then we'll get this out of the way. Thank you for 25 some odd years we met in New York. That's right. And I got news. God bless you. You're the best. Oh, and that's the end. Well, that's, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Put you into it, didn't I? Yeah, that, that doesn't... That, I know but that. You're not I know, at the end. I know, I know that didn't come easy for you're you. You're not that. at the end. It's not easy Pu for I me. I pushed you into that, didn't I? That's right. Roy Rogers, so happy trails to you. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, that's right. Good. <laughs> do what he says. He might get hot again. All right. One more, boy. One more. We'll be right back. Okay, Stay okay. where you are. No, no we will. Four. <laughs> okay, so let's see this one. Anyway, I want to hear... I want to hear... You were making a movie in Pittsburgh. And you know how that... Why, in, Pits why in Pittsburgh? Well, Pittsburgh, uh, I, I don't like, the economy is tough. And yeah, I know. so do, on the serious side, and a lot of people are out of work there. And uh, a film, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, Lee Rich, and uh, John Landis film, and uh, uh, Leslie Bellsberg. Innocent well, Blood? Is that Innocent what? Blood, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, Robert Loggia, who knows you, oh, and yeah. he's a fine artist. And this Anthony LaPaglia, nice young kid, you know, always searching, hunting, you know. <laughs> you know, off the stage, you know. And, oh, I see. And I'm like your age, and Ed, no, you're... <laughs> anyway, so he's always looking, you know, around, and uh, we, we had a, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, David uh, uh, Pablo, uh, who was in the Mean Streets, right? And uh, they're, they're good actors, and this Anne Pario is beautiful. She's a, remember La, La Femme Nikita? No. Do you get out of the house at all? Yes, yes. Sir. Well, she's a lovely star in Europe. She's a very big star in Europe. Well, I'm and she walks around the trailer and came in, and I'm happily married, and as you, as all three of us yes. are, and she came in the trailer and. The leg kept going, ah, ah, because she was, she's very beautiful. And off of it, made the three of us cheat on our wives, way we'd be paralyzed. <laughs> Notice how he kept is moving. This, he kept uh, moving. Uh, is, this, is this a serious picture? Uh, no, it's a black comedy. That doesn't mean the black guys who are in the back. I know, I know. Said to me, hey, man, we're going to rock. No, no, I know that. Now, uh, no, the, the black brothers back there, they're great. Yeah. They're coming out. But uh, it's, about, it's about vampires. About and vampires. Robert Loge, yeah, about, what is this, what you is it about, is it we on tape? What, what, I know what the what, hell we're saying. What, what, would you play a vampire? No, I play a monkey, of course a vampire. <laughs> it's about vampires and Robert Loge bites me on the neck and enjoys it. And uh, he, he was grinning a lot, late That's at night. Did, and we, yeah. and you know what we did? No. We shot, I, I keep doing this, you know. Yes. You know what, on the next series, sit here. <laughs> Now talk, talk to me about this picture. Why do I talk to you? He loves me. I know what you say. I've been. Do you back. get a lot. You get a lot of money now when you make a picture. Do I, I ask you how much you make? Well, have no. I ever asked you how much you make? Yes, you have. You've kidded about it many times yes. on this very show. But how can you talk about fifty billion dollars a week? How can you talk about? It? <laughs> but are we talking? Uh, for, for I make a nice salary. Yes, you're I'm able to go out to parties with you and Alex and hang out with him when he's settled. Yeah. I mean. Uh, <laughs> But I, I go out. Yes, I make a, a very good salary. That's Jack good. Gelati's my agent, and he handles things great. I drop names in I know so that I can keep my career That's right, and, you know, and cut your commission, Steve obviously. Steve Levine, you don't have any agents. You sit alone with Ed Hookstrat. And, Ed Hookstrat, that's, that's your right. agent, that's who right. just sits there going, Johnny, you're worth a million! And like a dummy, you buy it. Anyway, uh... <laughs> What did I ask him? I asked him about pictures. What are you, Al Jolson? I, I, what the hell is this? <laughs> so, uh, mammy. Mammy, mammy. Uh, snap out of it. You're going to get another job. What are you... What are you... Oh, him? Don't strike that man. Takes great pride. Doesn't shots. he, though? And he is. Ah, oh, he's the best. He's the best. So when will this uh, epic be out? Epic? Well, it's good. It's not gone with the wind. Yeah, it's called Innocent know. Blood by oh, John Landis. We know Landis, the name of it. You... And it's going to come out sometime in the fall. I'll, my Academy Awards speech should run about a half hour. It should. It should. You'll be, you, you and Alex don't you, go is, to those are things. You, would you call it a starring role or a supporting role? Or? No, I'm co-starring. Co-starring? Yes. Co-star. Co-starring. Co-starring. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm in some rest home with Mary Pickford. Co-starring. <laughs> Mary's gone. I know that. That's why I feel right, that way. Right, In other words, it'll say, Robert Logia, Don Rickles? No, no. It'll say, Don Rickles, with help. I, with help. Anyway, uh, no, no. It'll say, Ann Pario, I believe. Right. 
Anthony LaPaglia or Robert Loggia, right. either one, and right. co-starring Don Rickles. It should ah. be an exciting night. I'll bet it is. But there will be a charge to see the premiere, ah. but you're a senior citizen, so you have no problem. Oh, I see. This is, uh, this is and you can come in, right. you know, you. with your wife, whoever it is. <laughs> oh, this anyway, is, uh, this is a, uh, a talkie? Huh? It's a talkie, is it? No, no, Charlie Chaplin's I said, I said. You're getting on my nerves, old man. That. You're getting on my nerves. I've been nice about this. You're going to retire May, May 22nd, right? And when you retire, I'm going to say, Jay Leno, I always loved him. <laughs> you just he was my the... favorite right. comedian from, since he's a kid, for crying out loud. We'll have to take a break here yes, you will. to try to calm down. And we'll yes, be right will. back. Stay where you are. Anyway, I guess we're about out of time. Good to have you here again, Calvin. Thank you. The marvelous stuff in this book. A composition or a compilation of a lot of your columns, right? Well, enough is enough. And always good to have you here. Mr. Rickles, you're going to uh, Atlantic City? Spain, Spain. Forget Atlantic City. Spain. What? Going on vacation. 27 years married. The wife and I were going to try to work it out. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Hey, by the way, night. John, yes. God bless you. Thank Whatever you. you do, you will always be the best. Thank you, John. Thank you. Tomorrow night, music of James Taylor, Richard Benjamin, and Blake Clark. Good night. All right, now. The most, uh, <laughs> for most performers, they would not like to follow a spot like that. You know, <laughs> that crazy. Except this gentleman, who's a good old friend and a funny gentleman, who's going to be performing at the Sarah Hotel in Las Vegas January 8th through the 18th. Then Don will be at Resorts International, Atlantic City, the 23rd of January through the 24th. And next March, he's going to start appearing at the uh, Golden Nugget. He is, uh, would you welcome, please, Mr. Don Rickles. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't you have checked with me? I'm wearing a gray slacks, blue blazer. <laughs> you worked a whole career and you wind up in a kennel. <laughs> I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity and Freddie de Kovda and Kavita Kovda. Thank you so much for this opportunity, really. Good spot. Oh, I hope your dog gets the runs. Oh, they're wonderful animals. It's Marcia. just a big treat for me to sit backstage. <laughs> and know that Two you broads can't. came over next to me and went... <laughs> you have a dog? Pardon me? Yeah, I'm married. What, what is it? <laughs> anyway, uh... Oh, oh, oh. You never saw her. You, were you ever with her? <laughs> you, you, you go on vacation with her in Hawaii, and you're in heat, and she lays on the bed going... Ma and you gotta dress up and whip her for a half hour and watch a volcano in the room. Well, you did all that stuff, and look what happened to you. It's not see, easy. I hate when you bull guys' wives when you don't know her. She's outside now going, yeah, you got a quarter? You see, you were married later in life. I probably should have waited until I was your age. That's a wild guess. You were like what, then? You should have waited, really. I've seen the wives you've been through. They're lovely women. Yeah. They really are. Now you have a lovely girl, Alex. Thank you who I met at one of the restaurants here in town, just standing there going, you got a minute? <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> no, she's a lovely girl. Yeah, He's got is. a lovely oh. girlfriend now, and you're married to Victoria. Yes. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. No, Victoria's great. Once they're married, they ask for a lot of money. John <laughs> delves it out very quietly. It's, you know, very, very tough for you, because you've got a lot of expenses, really. <laughs> I think you'll be busted another year. You're going to walk away. The whole staff is saying, are you going to retire? I'm a friend. Get out of the business. <laughs> Walk away. Drew Stay at the up. beach. Just lay there in your little bikini with the body going, oh, oh help me, help me, help me. <laughs> he's got a great body. He works on his body. And you <laughs> call somebody. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, I'm not thin, but you're starting to get harpooned by strangers. <laughs> you were, at one time, this, you used to weigh. Now, let's tell them. Be honest. Yeah. Time, with me. Well, let's be honest. What, were we in court? What are you... I'm, I'm talking I've, to Bugliosi I've, here. I've been did, there. did Manson really? <laughs> anyway, we're just talking. There's well, people. I've been in court enough, so I know how to do these. 
Uh, when you were back in New York about 20 years ago working, you weighed about 200 and I'm guessing 50 or 60 pounds. No, no, not that much. I weighed about 210 and then when I met you, I went to 260. <laughs> because you used to watch me in a place called Basin Street East. And you used to just sit there and go, is the show over? <laughs> And I thought it was sugar shock till I found out <laughs> that you drank in those days, which now you don't touch. It. That's true. But uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He, you, my, my wife had a wonderful 50th birthday. I was there. You invited me. Of course, I invited you. We needed a big name, and Ed was the only one available, so we threw you in. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ed, could, Ed couldn't make it. He was in his limo, going, "Get me out of the chair! <laughs> Get me out of the chair! I want to be at the party!" <laughs> You, you can get air out of the chair. You spend a lot of time. I got it. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up real quick. Right? I know. You're smart uh, as a whip. Do you spend much time at the beach? He queried. Well, no. I don't have your kind of money. You know. Oh, come I, on. But I have to work, uh, John. You know, like you said. Well, what do you think this is? A hobby? Well, of course. I mean, you come in here. You have weeks off. You have these new, young, talented people come on. It's substitute for you. Yeah. You sit out the beach with your lovely lady, and you just sit there going, bring me another round. <laughs> and then you show up here. You get 60 million. And then I hear wait, from Freddie, your wait, producer. Just saying, is he going to quit? Is he going to quit? Who cares? Who cares if you quit? The world, the world's in trouble. Reagan's in the White House going, you hear something? <laughs> anyway, who cares if you quit? Quit, get out of the business. Wait, wait. The world is going to blow up, and they're worried of Johnny Carson's booty. You told me four times, you want to be the host, you hope he gets quit. You hope he gets quit. <laughs> you told me that first. A simple question, are you still at the beach? Ask the man Still at the well, beach. Of course, I get... no, I'm going to answer you honestly. Eight. You'll press charge. Eight minutes here. Read the sign that says, Mommy comes home for Best. Hanukkah. That's right. We'll be right <laughs> back. No, you're getting on my nose. All right, we're back here with Mr. Warren. I give you that appellation once, Mr. Warmth, didn't I? Because underneath all of this uh, bravado... Well, you're the one that gave me that title. This bravado is kind of a pussycat underneath. Well, sure, but, you know, you'd be a pussycat, you wind up in an alley. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I figure being a... But you did give me the title, Mr. Mr. Warmth. And, and then uh, Burl gave me the Merchant of Venom, and then I was... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Never thought I'd live to see the day that Burl would get a bigger laugh than I would. <laughs> He's great, though. He's not the actor's home, just standing by the door going, Do you have a bed? <laughs> anyway, uh, I kid. We all get older, and Milton's still full of life. And yes, he is. I'm still full of life, and unfortunately, Ed, you're on your way out. It's all over. <laughs> all right, how about, how, do you, now, how about Christmas? Did you get, you get sentimental and warm? And, oh, yeah. Uh, well, well Newhart's, you know, my best friend. And you travel, don't you, every year to Hawaii with a Newhart? Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, you know, because we don't want uh, New Year's to be too exciting. And so... Uh, <laughs> Bob, go down there for the blinking season. Yeah, Bob it? just sits in the room with a little horn and goes, uh, 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 that's, that's, that's the new year. And uh, we give him a cookie and he goes into a coma. <laughs> but <clears throat> we have good times. And, uh, and, and the only difference is that we go to his house Christmas night. And we do deck the halls with tons of matzah. Fa -la 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 -la. <laughs> and we do all the cows and so forth. Jewish that's people, nice. unfortunately, we don't have. Uh, yeah, the tree. I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, Hanukkah? we have to go in the woods and look for trees and so forth. Like Hanukkah tree or something? No, no. We do uh, some uh, some uh, Jewish people that like to be kind of cool about it have what they call a Hanukkah bush, but it's really a tree uh -huh. with a lot of lights and the big guys on top. Right. And uh, we we uh, my family we don't do that. We you don't just, have a tree. No, no, we don't have a tree. We just sit in the living room going, "You got anything?" And uh, the wife and I duel over who's going to give a gift, and that's about it. Because uh, Jewish people, we celebrate in a different way. It's the same thing. Right. We light eight candles, sit on the floor, and play with a little dreidel. That's a little toy. Oh, with a dreidel. Spin it. No, a dreidel, you'll find out when you become Jewish. Uh, <laughs> there's no pain. It's a little operation. Sure, sure. Just sure. <laughs> oh. lay out in the table and go, no, oh, Israel! <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, it's great to be a Jewish guy. You'll have a spar. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you sell the Gentile guy, the Irish guy, went, you're right, I'm tired, Mary, you're having a can of beer and drop kicking yet. Which Irish, anyway, which Irish guy is that? that the right. Irish guy on the left, the oh, guy I with the it. tattoo and the sailor. I didn't see him over Anyway, there. he's over there, you and the black guy's you. behind him singing hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Duck it, he's got a spear. Well, you, anyway, uh, you can spot those people so quickly. Immediately, immediately. Yeah. I spot them, I mean it. I think that's what our country's made up of. What is that? Uh, Ronald Reagan called Wonder Bread. Anyway, uh, can you see? <laughs> I just can't picture Ronald Reagan at night saying to the wife, I, I, I'm going to the bathroom. 
I just can't picture that. I mean, big stars, Ava Gardner. Well, all the great stars. <laughs> Ava Gardner? Well, yeah. What Where did you pull up that her? name? Because she was ill, and now she's okay. She was a lovely star when I was a kid. You remember when you were a kid, you had big stars? Well, Jean, of course. You, well, you were Jean Harlow. Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Oh, you knew her? Yes. We even fooled with Shirley no, Temple. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shirley Temple shop dance with Bill Robinson. You didn't what, what, me where, how you came up with the name Ava Gardner. Well, that's how, what I grew up with. What do you think I grew up with? Uh, Timmy Tum Tum? I grew up with the people that are stars. And she was a star I, in my day. Speaking of stars, I saw you the other night with Clint Eastwood on a, on a show. Yeah, he's great. Uh, he really is. He's a lot of... A, Clint Eastwood, his night of a good time is going to Palomino Club, having a can of beer and going... Bleh. Uh, <laughs> that to him is Mardi Gras time. That's it. <laughs> Did, you, you were in a movie with him, right? Yes, I was. Called... Uh, Kelly's no, Heroes. No, and no, you no, 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 no. I want to try for their luggage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have ten seconds. When you hit a buzzer, you win a trip. Um, Kelly's Heroes. Right. Made in Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. And we were there for six months. And my son was conceived there. And in fact, really? he came out of his mother with a beret and a rake. Uh, well, uh, there, hey, there wasn't much there. You well, I, know that. I mean, you just sat around doing dobra dobra genya, and you did a lot of this. <laughs> anyway, uh, is that the national dance of Yugoslavia? Pardon me? Is that the national? What do you mean, pardon me? Didn't you hear me? No, 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 I didn't. Turn up the set. I'm Johnny Ray's uncle. Anyway, uh, Johnny, they don't remember you. Johnny Ray was a great singer who has a hearing problem and became a big star. But I don't care. You people are getting on my nerves, and I don't care if you know him or not. <laughs> the guy in the front went who? Anyway, uh, Ava Gardner matter. and Johnny Ray, you've got yeah, to well, update this okay. stuff. Well, you know these people. We're the same age. You're acting like you're a youngster, for crying out loud. I'm not a youngster. You don't pole vault anymore. I mean, yeah. let's face it. <laughs> Once in a while, you're in. Well, maybe. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. I can't. Ed, you, you still, uh, you still, you have a lovely baby, and yeah. you make love, of course. of course. You know, we all make love. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, I can see you for the holidays making love with a couple of beers going, Is that you, Victoria? <laughs> Here comes the Titanic. Oh, anyway, um, and you probably lay it, knowing you, knowing you, you probably circle the bed and get an estimate. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, I think. I got a Jewish wife. I, she just lays in the bed and goes, you start. And I say, no, no, I'm going to get a paper. You start, and I'll be back in an hour. I see. <laughs> All right. Then. Warm holiday sentiments. Warm holiday sentiments. Yeah, we'll be right back. Heck, the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, in case I don't see you before uh, the holidays, happy Hanukkah. Thank happy you, John. Day. I wish you and yours a very happy, you and all too. the audience, a happy holiday season. Who's and it's Ginny, it's Ginny Newhart's birthday tonight. Uh, yeah. Tonight. Happy oh, birthday happy to you. Happy birthday, birthday. Jen. Happy birthday to you. We, we love a lover. Okay. And, and I love you. Thank Thanks you for being here. Ed, all I, right. Uh, like uh, a little bit. Warren Chang, who was supposed to be with us tonight, will be with us the first week in January. We ran a little long tonight because Don kind of drifted off. Thanks. <laughs> I love China. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night, Dolly Parton will be with us. No, be, she won't. Yeah. Wan Chang will be back. <laughs> Wan Chang. Leo DeMorphis and Rich Heidner, comedian. Thank you. Have a nice night. <laughs> First guest is an old friend. He's going on the road again in two weeks, opening for Frank Sinatra around the country. They wind up at the Greek Theater in Los Angeles, September 6th and 7th. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Mr. Don Rickles. Knock it off over there. 
Don't don't be that way. I haven't been on in 30 years. Will you milk me? <laughs> 30 years, I mean... Well, you used up most of your time bowing. Well, okay. I've never seen anybody and milk an audience like that, I mean... Would you talk a little louder? I believe you, too. <laughs> and you may be right. I don't know anymore. Hey, hey we're you're both getting... the same age. Don't, don't knock it. Well, we're moving along. That's we're right. moving along. Ed, you look great. Thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll clear this up right away. What's new? <laughs> Every time my wife opens the paper, she said, Ed's in the paper. That's I right. said, what is he doing? Printing it? What is he doing? <laughs> Been very active the past few months. I'm happy for Thank you, Ed. You, sir. Everything's going to work out. Thank you very much. You're going to be broke, but it's going to work out. <laughs> and he's laughing like he collected a fortune. <laughs> I'm sitting between two guys that went... <laughs> okay. Sure. They did. I love you. <laughs> I got a little Jewish lady just lays in the house that goes, You owe me nothing. <laughs> Except That's jewelry. what you jewelry. think. That's what yeah. you think. All right, now, Good to th see that you, is John, thank you. It's nice to Let's you clear that up. I must say, both of you guys, I haven't been on in quite some time. <laughs> yes. Because Freddie told me you, 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 didn't, you, you didn't want humor. <laughs> and, uh,. And, I, and it's good to be back with you. You're both of you are, are good friends. And yeah. why don't we? We're the musketeers. Why don't we go back to the old days in the Copacabana with bros? No, no, thank you. No, 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 no. Uh, forget the money. Now you got a big estate. You play tennis. He gets up in the morning, and goes, "Do I own anything?" No, I mean, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can pick on him, and you can pick on me, but. Just because, coming up now, next month, March, I think, 14th, something like that? Yeah, March 14th, something is like that, Is yeah. your 25th, the silver wedding anniversary, yes, right? Yes, right, yeah. Now, now that's, 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 that's important. But, you see, sure. But you waited. You see, you didn't get married. You were, what, 45, 40, something yeah. like that? Don't get crazy. I wasn't 45. <laughs> Why don't you make me 80, spitting up in the hall? Yeah. yeah. Are you, you were close to 40. You were 40. No, I was 38. You know it. You were there every night saying, how old are you? <laughs> Why did you wait to 38? Most guys Because I hung out with you and him. Yeah. I didn't have a chance. I was, I so was, both of you were booed. Uh, we were in a Copacabana every night. Every night in New York and Danny's hideaway. The people you don't know, these are places that are gone now. These people that drank with us are dead. <laughs> It was just the three of us every night to anybody. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Bring yourself. I want you in on this, too. You were not exactly, you know, no, Father, I admit Father that. Flanagan I in those admit days. That, huh? Father uh, Flanagan? <laughs> girls. Remember, you like girls. You like a rabbi. You like, girl, you like girls singers a lot, didn't you? Hi, Connie. Hey, over here. Over here, girls girl singers. Singer. Yeah. Well, in those days, girls singers very important. <laughs> That's right. right. You mentioned names, you'll be in court again. <laughs> I've been in court Pat's more than... Pat's laughing like he has no problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> He's going to be in more court than Raymond Burr. Well, let me see. No, no but i got to tell you. My, my what do you mean you got to tell us? Why do you have to tell us? Well, because i got to... Because you're my friend. I don't see you that often. Well, you know, I know. I know quit, I'm on the standby well, list. Well, quit bitching about anyway, it. Uh... Quit bitching? Well, quit That's us. a new word you use oh, on God. TV. Anyway, <laughs> new word. And I can hear a beep. Anyway, but uh, Doc, by the way, I spoke to Johnny... <laughs> You're through here. <laughs> You're here too long. But I must say that 25 years is great. It really is. And we, uh, we, did a, we made a trip for our 25th anniversary. You went to the Far East, didn't you? Yeah. We went to the Far East, went to Asia. That's I the was Far there East. In, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> is this going to be a test or <laughs> well, a little conversation? I know. And all I saw is little Chinese guys walking around. Your shirts are burned. <laughs> but uh, you, you must have seen more than that. No, I saw more than that. We went to, uh, we t I said to the wife. <laughs> I don't want to be in your shoes for no money. <laughs> now, you went to Hong Kong? But let me get my trip out. Because well, I'm right. picking on poor Red. Well, you keep interrupting it all the time. Well, of course. That's my job. No, I'm going to let you help me. Okay. Huh. When did you ever help me? You always sit here and go, oh, he's going right to the dumper, right to the dumper. Let's hear Not about true. the trip. Let's hear about the trip. 25 years we've been friends, and, and it's been good. It really has. Uh -huh. Oh, you're still on that again. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll try. I'll try. Let's, now, you're the let's one who wanted to talk about the trip. Okay, I do. Get the, to the trip. Okay, I'll get to the trip. Let me just, just let me make a toast, okay? All right. Make Don't a ever toast. call me five minutes before the show. <laughs> King is dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we started out, Barbara said, and the, everybody does, I have a wife, that's her name, Barbara said.
Barbara said, listen, I'm tired of hearing the stories. You arrange the trip. You want to go away. We have two children. God bless them. I, I can't handle everything. Right. So you arrange it all. That's where she talks. I married a Valium. <laughs> anyway, uh, except on the wedding night, she went, is that you? But I'll tell you this. But I'll tell you this. Look at this. The guys in the band went, we know her. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> so we went, John. We left and we flew on uh, uh, Japanese airlines. Is, it, is that what you call it? The Japanese airlines? Freddie, you got a minute? Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> Freddie's turning around. That's the producer to see if the crowd recognizes him. <laughs> anyway, I suppose it would be Japan, Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines. Right. Japan airlines. Japan Airlines. So, Japan Airlines, we went on Jap uh, Japan Airlines, and constantly, you know, and, and marvelous service. I mean, it was 17 hours, the flight to Hong Kong. And we, that's, that was the first thing. We got in, and the wife said, go to sleep, don't eat, you don't need food, watch the diet, bum, bum, bum. Just have a look. And the guys brought bowls of rice, and boom, and I was eating, and she kept saying, you're overdoing it. And she went to sleep. And we flew 17 hours, and every two minutes they came over. Darling, they couldn't be nicer. And they kept saying, Mr. Riggles, everything good, everything good. I said, yeah. And I said, when I was a kid, I was going. I suppose you, I suppose you brought that up to the employees of the airline and make them feel, feel comfortable. Yes, that's why one person said, oh, you don't have to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> But they were very nice. Had you and ever been to the Far East before? Uh, in, uh, like you, uh, yeah. when I was 18. That's anymore. right, in the service. So when we landed in Hong Kong, it was great. It was all little guys running into my stomach. A <laughs> uh, lot of glasses running around going, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, and I'm not a tall man, but uh -huh. I felt like, you know, uh, Will Chamberlain. I was, uh -huh. uh, yeah. But Hong Kong was great. And then we stayed at the Regency Hotel. Have you been to Regency? No. Have no. you been no, to Regency? No, I have not. Now, both of you probably were at the downtown Dixie. <laughs> I was at the Regency. That's a classy place. Well, I suppose it When you're making love to the wife, they come right in the room and go, oh, just continue. You want flowers? <laughs> Why, did they think you were dead? Did they? <laughs> <laughs> When you decided to take this trip, does Barbara select where you're going to go, or you just say, just choose she where you want to go? Or? She used to. i got to be honest. She, yeah. I, I come from the school where she became uh, the woman of the house and made all the arrangements and all. And a lot of guys don't do it that way. Yeah. Uh, the new hearts, they don't do it that way. Right. Bob, Bob goes, uh, J Jenny, I think, and she says, keep quiet. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, well, we all know Bob. He's not yeah. here tonight, unfortunately. He's at home, sitting in his room, humming. <laughs> but, uh, but meanwhile, he's a billionaire, as he keeps telling me every yeah. day. And I'm very happy for his success. So he went to Hong Kong. Then so he went, went to... to Hong Kong. So what happened was, when we got to Hong Kong... <laughs> pass it. Is there more in Hong Kong? Uh, Are we going to be in Hong Kong long and then move along? No, we're going to take our temperature first. Oh, I see. <laughs> now, so, uh... I just went to Hong Kong. I didn't get malaria. Well, I know that. I just... <laughs> so we went to Hong Kong, and we, we just mosed around, and we, we stayed in Kowloon, the Kowloon side. You've never been. No, I... I'm... So then, uh, I guess you can't afford it. No, I can't afford but, it. Uh, uh, no, you, you take Alex uh, uh, to the outskirts of Malibu and say, sweetheart, this is all sand. Now let's get back in the house. <laughs> now, but what I do is I take... <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter what it means. That's they right. laugh. That's, That's right. why I'm here. That's right. If it works, it works. What do you care? What, does that have to have a reason? No, of course the not. The front row button. Oh. Oh. Right. So we're in Hong Kong. So we're in Hong Kong. In the Kowloon section. At the Kowloon section. Right. And we took the ferry over and we saw more Chinese people all running around going, oh, 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 oh. Then we went on to uh, Singapore. 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 Ah, Singapore. And Singapore was great. It's so clean, you can eat off the street, but I didn't try it. Of course it. not. Uh, it really is. It's a beautiful city, and we bought some antiques there, and uh, they, it was wonderful. The food was great. We had uh, one night, we had, Barbara said, let's eat the food of the land. So we had dead eel, uh, a rhino's head, two monkeys that were still alive, and a zebra. I don't think so. Well, it was close. Okay. And she said, it melts in your mouth. 
And I stood there, and I thought I was in Mexico because I kept being a commuter to the John every time. Well, but you did try some of the local uh, yeah, delicacies. Yeah, of course. Of course. Sure, I don't make this up. I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the. Uh, then we went on to Manila. Manila is Manila. a great spot. Go there for the summer with your family. Uh, what, what, what is it, the charm of Manila? No, the charm of Manila is uh, they, they Not have... Not Manila, Manila. Ma oh, I'm sorry. Not Manila. You the have water, New Professor York. Hart, but don't go crazy. You have that, you that New York accent, Manila. It's all right. All right, Manila, Manila. They know what the hell I'm talking about. Right. Don't make it up. All right, so you're this in Manila. They're not all morons except the front row. All right. All right. So you're in Manila. I'm in the middle. I thought you went to Bangkok. Well, I changed the trip. Oh. <laughs> yes, I was in Bangkok, but we're not up to that yet. Oh, I see. Manel, then the Bangkok. That's right. Write it down. So now, we went to, and I went to MacArthur's headquarters. I was in World War II, you were in World War II, and you were in World yes. War II, World War III, World War IV, World yeah, War VI, right. yeah. Marine Raiders and all that baloney yes. with your fighter pilot and blah, blah, blah. And I don't believe you can put a kite on your fanny and fly. <laughs> Anyway, so we went to Manila, and we went to MacArthur's headquarters. They keep the headquarters just like they were just when he was there? Just the way it was. How did he live like that? He was a general. He, he loved you know, the Philippines. He absolutely, loved, he loved the Philippines. It was, it, and, and I was very intrigued by it, being in World War II. And I was in the Philippines uh, as a young man, you know, but I did, you know. We know your war record. Yeah, yeah well, I got news. It was great. Uh, being a Jewish guy, I never did any fighting. I kept saying, here's 300, you attack. Okay. <laughs> Manila. Then we went on to Borneo. Borneo. Borneo, great. Borneo, the uh, ship met Borneo us with spears. Yeah. Now, everybody ran to the dog. Hey, ma! Oh! And the captain was out on the deck. Hey, hey. That bad, eh? Uh, yeah, that bad. Then we went on to, uh, I'm rushing this up because well, you're only on an hour. It used to be on we 15 have, seconds. Uh, we'll probably I, This isn't Germany. I do what I want to do. <laughs> We're oh, probably, in Germany, you can do anything. We're Rip down the wall. We're probably going to miss Bangkok then, aren't we? No, we're going to miss Bangkok. Darn, but you should visit Bangkok. It's a lot of fun. Hung. Flies keep circling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Don is who I'm... Um, Steve, uh, Stephen Baldwin, who was going to be with us tonight, we've asked him to come back uh, either this week or next week when he can, uh, when he's scheduled for us. We ran a little long tonight because you know, we were on a, on a trip. It's back to travel. Remember those? Yeah. And as our boat pulls away and our sun sinks slowly. Anyway, Don's going to be at the Golden Nugget uh, starting March 1st for a week and then at Harrison Lake Tahoe March the 7th. And a uh, happy 25th anniversary. Thanks, You were on John. a roll tonight. You were hot tonight. Oh, thank you. You were rolling tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Should be lovely. And the gentleman we're going to bring out is look out. Um, what? Look out. Now, everyone keeps saying, look out, look out. He is a pussycat. He will be at the Sahara Hotel Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this week. He is hosting Saturday Night Live on January 29th. He is one of the funniest men in the world. And um, it's the first time we've ever been together on the show. Will you please help me welcome Mr. Don Rickles? <laughs> I just told him I hope his mule dies. Thanks, Joan. I'll be at Lou's Fish Market a week from Wednesday. And then I'm working the wonderful farmer's market smelling cheese for two nights. By the way, uh, two, uh, one of those little horses, what do you call those little horses? Quarter horses. Quarter horses. Two of them were shot while you were playing the trumpet. <laughs> How are you, Joan? Yeah. God bless you. This is a lovely outfit, and I know you always get... You with the dentist? <laughs> anyway, uh... No, it's very pretty. You, you were kidding yourself about it, and yeah. Well, yeah. I wanted you to know this is a lovely outfit. Suck on my neck, just to relax. <laughs> Everybody has been saying to me, Don Rickles, Don Rickles, you're the Donnie Marie of meanness. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think... You know, I think you're a sweet, good man. What do your friends say when they... <laughs> well, you're a fool if you think I'm... <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not that kind. You know, in our business, we, we do what, I, what we do. You do your thing, I do mine. Oh, only I happen to love Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, but, uh, uh, not a word. Hey, 
You know what the whole thing... Why don't Elizabeth you, you, you know do one Elizabeth Taylor joke? No, no, I don't do jokes. You know that. I talk about people. I, 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 I'm honest. I don't like him. But, uh, I don't make a thing about it. You know what I mean? Johnny Carson's not here, and we both can be very honest. I think you can handle it better, as you told me. Uh, The woman came in my dressing room and said, Don, you and I are friends. Don't I handle this show much better? <laughs> I said, absolutely. And dummy here went, I, 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 I just played a trumpet. <laughs> and Ed McMahon's at home in his underwear going, <laughs> It's Bobby Quinn's son. He writes down everything to tell the little director. See, everybody's <laughs> off when, you do, when you're on the show. You know that. So that's a vote of confidence. The regular crew takes off, and they bring in all the guys that are learning. Yeah. Freddie isn't even... Oh, yes, there he is. Freddie, the cover the cover the keep it up. He's the wonderful producer that keeps saying, You're marvelous, Joan. It's lies. It's all lies. <laughs> you know you don't like her either. Why do you lie to her for crying out? No, he loves you. You do a magnificent job, and I kid you. And does the jewelry go back in an hour? <laughs> anyway... As a, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How have you been? I'm delighted for your success, yeah, really. Well, we know each other a long time. Yeah. Your husband, her husband, Edgar, is in the hall now saying, you, give me $5, I'll park your car. <laughs> uh, you really love Edgar, don't you? Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a wonderful guy. He's about four foot one, isn't he? Yes. Walks around the hall going, I'm a beaver. <laughs> he's, a, he's a nice guy. We've been friends a lot of years. Yes. Not that many years. No, We've we been have... acquaintances. No, the great thing is, which they see, is when your wife, when your wife, when yes. you as yes. the wife, and, well, you know, as the host, I keep thinking yes. as a man, because we always assume it should be a man, you know. As you said to me many times, it should be you instead of her. <laughs> There's not a friend here. They give you all that baloney every night. Going, Joni, darling, Joni, baby. And Johnny hired you because he knows you're no threat. Uh... <laughs> See, a woman to a guy like Johnny Costa, he's got $6 billion. He's sitting now in Malibu Beach, running around in his jockey shorts going, how's the body look? How's the body look? <laughs> you and I know it's over. The body is wrinkled Gone. and it's over. You know. <laughs> right, you Doc? Exercise? That's right. Well, why don't you jump in and be a man and say it? <laughs> <laughs> message of interest. So please, stay tuned. I'm so glad you are. Hi, Don Nichols. Now, you look very best. You went away with friends. Your good friends are uh, Steve Lawrence, your very good friend. Yeah, it was Steve Lawrence and Bob Newhart. Steve and I are doing a little project now, but we don't mention it's on another network, but we're having a, a ball of a time because Steve's great. He keeps saying, you want to hear me sing? And I step on his album. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and, and we went to Hawaii for Christmas and New Year's. Will you work on Christmas and New Year's? Yeah, I work anytime I can. I know you do. Bless your heart. I, I don't, I got a, I got a low-key wife. She's the one that keeps saying, again with entertaining. <laughs> uh, she thinks I should work in a candy store and just sit there and think, chocolate, vanilla, or something not too sweet. Anyway, uh, she's, she's great. At the end of the type, on the wedding night, just laid there and went, <laughs> <laughs> You're married, right, Doc? Right. <laughs> Happily? Sure. Uh, no, I'm sure you are. <laughs> she probably gets up in the morning and goes, <laughs> <laughs> We went to Hawaii, Joan. Do you, do you ever take vacations? Yes, we just took one. Yes, we, we saw each other in Lake Tahoe, and yes. you told me at Harris, which is another yeah. of our favorite spots, both of us. Yeah. And I work in the Sahara, and you work in Lake Tahoe a great deal, and you work, now you're working at Caesars. It's anywhere. You, no, your career is... A buck's a buck. Hey, I, I gotta be honest. I am the strip slut in Vegas. They want me, <laughs> I move to the different hotels. But you know why? You have a great drive. I have a, a desire to get on the couch. That's my big dream. Just lay on the couch. My manager, Joe Skindor, he's not here tonight. Uh, he, unfortunately, he's at a rally to hurt somebody. Uh, he's Italian, and he just sits around Brooklyn going, oh, Bravo, bravo, and there's nothing going on. Uh, but you say that, and tomorrow you're going to see me with a limp. Uh, but I must say... Uh, you don't like to work? It's not a question of not liking. I love 
the life of, of leisure, of playing golf. I'm not a good golfer. Freddie DeCoveta DeCoveta. Your producer's a marvelous golfer. I, I love golf. Newhart's a great golfer. Steve Lawrence is a guy that plays golf, but he's not, the, you know, he has that kind of rhythm. He hits the ball pretty good. But we went to Maui uh, this past Christmas and New Year's, and all we did was play golf, make love to the wives on our terms. Wait. And, uh, no, they, they stood on the course and go, when? When? And, uh, <laughs> and, and Steve yelled, never, never. I didn't yell that. I was hoping somebody else would. But, uh, no, that's not true, darling. I do love you. <laughs> My luck, she'll be in heat tonight, and I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, uh, are you allowed to say heat on television? Oh, three guys just went, you can't say heat, you can't say heat, you can't say that. <laughs> but, uh, so far, John, you've been a big help to me. <laughs> uh, when you go to Hawaii, from vacation, did you take your kids? Because we have children in the city. No, no, I took giraffes. <laughs> uh, whenever I go on vacation, I take two giraffes with me. No, I take my son, who is 13, and I take my daughter, who is 17, that just stands in front of the mirror. I don't know if your daughter, my daughter wants to be an actress. Is, oh, does your daughter, daughter have... is very pretty. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Is, is, is well, your mine's a little younger, but she wants to be, I think, a rock star. Yeah, well, my son loves the, the Sting and Duran Duran and Police. Culture and, Club? Yeah, and in fact, he came home one night, and his face was green, and he went, wow, wow, wow! <laughs> and I said, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> it's the new thing. That's why I'm looking forward to it. Have you done Saturday Night Live? No, I did it last year. I loved it. Well, well I'm, gonna, oh, I'm it's looking great forward fun. to doing it. You've I'm, never done it? Never, never. I only did it once, the way I'm talking. Well, never uh, done it, huh? No. <laughs> puff, puff. No, but it's, it's shipping. <laughs> oh, puff, puff, the shipment came in. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> I saw two guys from Columbia standing in the hall going, dang, 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 dang. <laughs> anyway, no, that, that's terrible with drugs and so forth, you know, because you hear about that so much. Guff of it, uh, kids should keep away from that. But I, I, I must say, because when I go down to Florida, I, even my mother, uh, bless her heart, she's in, she, by the way, may I say hello to her? She's in Cedar sinai uh, Mount Sinai, rather, in, uh, in Florida. And she's having a little problem with her eyes, but she's going to be fine. Hi, Mom, I love you. I, I, I just do that because uh, everything she has is in my name. <laughs> and um, I'm afraid she'll get a lawyer and change that around. <laughs> now, that's a joke, Mother, because my mother's the type of woman. I don't think that's funny! Does your mother travel with you? <laughs> I'm 57. Forget about that. <laughs> I mean, if she does, you know I have a problem alone in the bathroom. I mean, <laughs> no, no, my mother used to travel with me. I know in the days in the park sunset, I think uh, long before you came to California, maybe so, but you're a very young woman. And, oh, uh, thank you. You are. And uh, I must say that uh, my mother used to travel How with young? me. How young? <laughs> don't, don't, don't push it. Uh, no, you're very young. And, you're, and you know what? You know what I admire so much about, which a lot of people don't know? Your background in education, which, see, my daughter's going through the SAT test now in the college. You've been through that. Oh. What is that all about? Oh, it's the, the worst. And California is the worst educational system in America. You know that. The, the, wor the worst. <laughs> Melissa brought a, a, a note home from her English teacher today. Melissa can do more better work. I mean, it is... <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were talking perfect English. Because <laughs> where I came from, see, it's very, when we're raising kids, my wife and I, we don't have a college, although I graduated from the American Academy in acting, my wife went to business school, but we didn't have a, you and Edgar are both college yeah. graduates, and it must be kind of a, 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 an advantage to raise kids when you went to college. Oh, do you think so? No, seriously. Oh, what, college education doesn't do you any good at all. I am a philosophy major. I can go to the butcher, prove the meat doesn't exist. I am <laughs> Nothing. Really? Are you serious about it? Honestly, that? you know what it is? You, everyone that doesn't have a degree thinks it's terrific. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those that have degrees realize it's nothing. If you're going to read, you're going to read. If you're not going to read, you're not going to read. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, Especially I'm, for a woman. Funny. A woman needs a pretty face and a trick pelvis. That's all a woman needs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look for intelligence in a woman? <laughs> well, I met my wife, so you take a guess. <laughs> uh, no, no, I look, I look for a bright lady. It doesn't have yeah. to be college, but I, I think I, I would have loved to have gone to college. I really do. I think that's a great thing to, for a young man and a young lady to have a, a college background. I think it's another uh, boost on the ladder. I think it's, a, you know, I came from the street. Well, my college was, hey, here's your college. Hey, hey. <laughs> and 
Nice Italian for how's your family. But uh, I didn't have it easy, and I got news, and I, and I wish that for my kids. And my daughter will go to college, and she'll be a wonderful, uh, wonderful student. And my son will, too. They'll both be great. And you're, uh, Melissa. What is your, what, Melissa is, what, is ready? Uh, going to be 15, the end of this week. Don't give out ages and all. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. of guys with ski masks. <laughs> anyway, uh, I... I uh, wish they'd call me. <laughs> <laughs> I did four times, but you didn't accept the call. I, <laughs> Lee Salter, your publicist, is yeah. out backstage. He was so nervous. They were all, why were they so nervous? They thought we were going to have the w World War II. And the only person really, and Doc, I swear, without Ed here, it comes alive with you sitting there. <laughs> the whole thing picks up. You were so wise to pick him instead of Ed. When you, had, you, know, when you signed this deal and you said, I must have Doc instead of Ed, I think that was the most cleverest thing you've ever done, really. Because this guy, he, you know, he's a spark plug. Look at the way he jumps in and keeps it rolling with those takes and those looks. I mean, I got chills just sitting next to you. This guy's dynamite. I've been with, I was with him in New York once and watched a fly die in his face. He's great. You're great. I love you, Doc. You're great. He's the greatest. <laughs> we'll work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> Do people ever get upset with you when you're kidding? Do you ever have people really get mad after the show and well, try to come back? Well, Joan, that's a dumb question coming from you. Thank you. Uh, you know and I know. We do what we do. You can't win everybody. Nobody bats a thousand. Of course, some people will say, hey, I don't find that funny. But when you stand up alone, and all we have, we don't have any refrigerator. We don't have uh, Bob Barker saying, you just won two trips to Grenada. Right. Uh, <laughs> which a guy said, I was there. It was great. It was great. <laughs> a lot of explosions, but it relaxed me. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... Uh, you, you, you stand alone, and we do what we do. And uh, I got news. Of course, the whole world doesn't love me, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, the more I think about it, the more I realize it's so foolish when they ask us as performers, do you, uh, do people say, I don't like... I think Bob Hope, who is the greatest performer in the world today, and has done so much for our country, there's somebody out there that says, I don't like Bob Hope. Me. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> No, that's not true, Bob. He's sitting in his house saying, Dolores, what did he say? <laughs> uh, and, and, and George Burns is going, I gotta get a 14-year-old girl and take a hike. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it's, it's all, we create an image, and we have to do our thing, and you can't please the world. And uh, hopefully we try to get as many people as we can in our corner. But does anybody like you talk to them in an audience ever stand up and say, wait a second, come outside? Sure they did. But I have a lot of friends and my manager, people from Brooklyn, and nobody gets out. So <laughs> they get to the door, and then you see them on television at some telethon going, Help me! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Were you always... And this is another dumb question, but I really don't know anything about you. Were you... What would you have been if you hadn't been a comedian? I would have been part of your crew. <laughs> no, had I not been a comedian, I like to think, and we all have fantasies, yeah. I would like to think I could have been a, a darn good psychiatrist. I really do. But I realized, dealing with my own life, it is very difficult as a person for myself. But I think with other people, I can relate to other people, and I have a feel for other people. And I think I could have been, if I lived in another world, if I come back as a moose, uh, I could be a good psychiatrist, but I got news. That's only dreams and fantasies. Right now, I'm just lucky to be here with you. Well, I'm lucky to have you here with and me. And to be with Hot Charlie right alongside <laughs> We'll be right back at this message of interest. So please, stay tuned. Whoa, what? My next guest, an old dear friend, is celebrating his 25th year at the Sahara Hotel, where he opens on January... <laughs> He opens there on January the 17th. Uh, if the creek doesn't rise, he'll be appearing at Harrah's in Reno. My, what a list of credits here. Beginning January 31st, he's got a video out. Not a workout tape or anything like that. A sweet title called Buy This Tape, You Hockey Puck. <laughs> Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles.
I'm going to the ranch. <laughs> They were wonderful. They Aren't they really... nice? Charming. Charming. Yeah, this is wonderful. It has to be rinsed. <laughs> <laughs> I got cow ticks. <laughs> what an evening, Mike. It's so it's good to see you. I didn't know you were still on. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gee, I, I haven't been on in so long, you know, but I know how you sit with Fred and pick and choose and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> anyway, uh... Congratulations you, on the baby, Thank really. <laughs> it's a wonderful household he's got, really. The kids are happy, everybody's happy. No. I understand the baby left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby watched dead by the bar and go, give me a triple. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wish you a lot of happiness. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> How old now? <laughs> That's going to be great. That kid will be about 27 and you'll be in a home going, I love her. <laughs> anyway... I certainly love her. And, uh, <laughs> and Victoria will be, let's go to Paris. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, well, get over it. <laughs> uh, it's not my choice. You always say no, I, that. I got to talk about, got to talk about something. Now, okay. We've known each other a number of years, 25 years, right? Yeah, Maybe right. even more. Right. I saw you one night. You were out at La Scala restaurant not too long ago. And somebody says, there's Don Rickles over mm -hmm. there. And I said, where? I said, I don't know. No, right over there. I said, I don't see him. You had your back to me. Hmm. I had not seen you since obviously you'd been frightened by a, by a ghost or something and the hair <laughs> had turned white. Hmm. Hmm. And you had your, I said, I, no, I said, where, where, where hmm. are you talking about? And he says, no, the man with the, with the white hair. I said, hmm. Rickles doesn't have white hair. Hmm. Well, what happened? Hmm. None of your business. <laughs> no, uh, actually, when, when my mother passed away, rest his soul, everybody said, his mother died, he got white hair. Ah, uh, then they said he has cancer and they're keeping it quiet, he has white hair. Then they said he has all kinds of problems. He has white hair. Mm -hmm. Then they said Barbara and I were separated, which is ridiculous because with the money I owe her, there's no way. Of course. Uh, but actually, as we get older, you know, we're pretty much the same age. You're six months older, a year older than me. Yeah, I guess so. And the difference with you, you can see the highway. Uh, uh, no, no, he does. His face, you know, your face is starting, you're starting to show your age, you know. Well, I'm still young so. and wonderful. You still get out in the tennis court with the funny little tight little shorts and the leotard saying to your girlfriend, Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got a face could hold a three-day rain. What are you talking about? <laughs> three-day rain. Three That's right. Rain. Oh, what are you okay. talking about? Gentile leading the Jew, three nothing That's going right. into the last. Game. I Did have you, to punt on the point. forty. Actually, you quit dying it, isn't that it? No, no, I don't. Come on, you die it. You die it. No, I you, never die it. Yours don't, went like don't that. Don't steam me, or the fat guy gets it. Over. <laughs> overnight, overnight, <laughs> overnight, that turn. He's a marine. He's my friend. I wish him good things. You know, you get Ed steamed. He has one belt of beer, and he'll blah, and you find yourself pinned to the wall. Anyway. uh... That didn't win any place. It, of course you know, not. It all <laughs> that didn't win any place. <laughs> that I, didn't win. I felt like a Yugoslavian and somebody didn't stamp my papers. Anyway, uh, <laughs> look at the whole band. Hey, guys, the shipment came in. Hey, four hundred. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, that's a joke. That's a <laughs> No, the band is clean. That's it. Of clean. course they're clean. Why, you do their laundry? <laughs> now, uh, the thing of it is, though, uh, John, we all get older and our hair gets oh, well, gray. You never dyed yes. your hair since I've known no, you. No, I did. Dyed no, I did. Ed, run. you never dyed no, your hair. No. You should. Uh, I did it one time. Really? When? I did when it started to turn gray. I thought maybe it would look better, and I started. Then I felt so ridiculous doing it. You know how I know that? On how the you old know that? tapes. Uh, no, we're not. A, I know what I said. Yes, what, right. Was this a playback? I know what I all said. Right. I hate that when it's like a quiz. Do you know what I did? I know what you did. I know what you did. We didn't have to keep okay, you okay. How did you know? But. From the comedy classics, which yes. are marvelous, by the way, Thank which you. I see on Channel 5 here locally. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> One guy in the balcony, I watch it. <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, there it shows that you yes, try to dye I, your I hair. And it, it looks, you know, everything with moderation. And, you know, and when you age, your hair gets white. So that's, that's the end of that. And you've aged, I've aged, and you've aged, Ed, and you've aged. Certainly you've aged, but you don't want to accept it. Anyway, with that two-year-old running around, where's my dada? Where's my dada? Where's my dada? <laughs> and dada's in the, in, the, in the bar going, I'll be with you in a minute, kid. <laughs> Speaking of time going by, I cannot believe you just celebrated your, uh, was it 20th wedding anniversary? 20th wedding That's anniversary. Nice. Bob That's and Ginny right. Newhart uh, celebrated. Uh, please, you never saw my wife. Uh, no, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. 
She's a lovely Jewish woman, came from Philadelphia. I met her on the corner. A bus hit her about this far. <laughs> anyway, she just lays in the bed and goes, is that about it? Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> didn't you do something romantic? With my wife, you know, I, I got a great relationship. I love my wife. Dearly. I know you do. And uh, like the New Hearts, they're married 22 years. I was with them last night uh, at the uh, Scoffier Room. We went and had dinner to celebrate their anniversary. Your name was on the list to be invited, and then we thought about it. And, of course. Uh, <laughs> since we knew you could get moody invited, and, sure. you know, and be recognized and be a whole thing of... Da, 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 da. Right. And who had seen it? We, we wanted to have you in, yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> but the keg of beer blew up, so we forgot about it. <laughs> but uh, we had a lovely time. And marriage is great. If you don't... If you don't play act at it, you have to understand it. I, I'm advising you. Oh, sure. Look, look who I'm telling. A man that knows all about it. The wife's just lined up. You, forget it. You, forget it. You, forget it. Hey, 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 go away. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. Now, now you're talking. You it up. Now you're talking. You okay. should always live with a woman and forget about marriage. It's not your thing. You like a companion, which is lovely. I'm not saying that facetiously. I think it's lovely. I, I happen to get lucky. I married a value. But, uh, but you didn't get married till you were um, 38 going in years old. Well, I was hanging around with you in Basin Street going, Is the party over? Yes. Anyway, nice number, Connie. Yes, we used to. <laughs> we used to. <laughs> we, used to <laughs> we don't want to bring. No, let's don't somebody's bring taking my jewelry. Let's don't bring Anyway, look at this. Jewish guy and nobody touched me and my jewelry's gone. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, I understand what you're saying. But I'm saying that we, we don't play act at it. It's a thing that, uh, it's companionship. Sure it is. And I must say, in 20 years that I've known this woman, sure, we have beefs, we get upset with each other. But basically, when it's all over, it's a 20-minute argument and then it's That's gone. good. And I advise any young person that gets married, really, really work at it. If you work at it, it's delightful. Thank you, Dr. Brothers. <laughs> I'll live in <laughs> did, you buy a, did you buy the new baby a gift yet? Yes, I got the new baby. Barbara and I really thought about the gift, and you're going to love it, really. I really mean it. It's a picture of your game show. Uh, no, actually, it's... <laughs> what what it's, does that mean? I don't know, I but he so. doesn't know either, because he expects all kinds of things, really. Well, almost everyone has sent a gift. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got the message. Uh, <laughs> We have to, we have to take Here's your star search. <laughs> anyway, uh, star search this. Star search this. I gotta right. do. I gotta do a commercial. Do whatever you want. Of course, it's Just my relax. show. Feel at home with the money you have. You can spit on the camera. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>